Hey, good evening and welcome. My name is Rob, aka Lantern Noir. And uh, after a week off, we are back for episode 16 of The Convergence, uh, which we are now officially into the I didn't think the campaign would go this long territory. So this should be a fun one. Um, I will also confess that as of uh, my tweet at 10 a.m. today, I had nothing. So, which I feel better um, that uh, I didn't have anything because apparently my players also didn't plan for anything. We didn't have a week off. Did I say we had a week off? Yep, no. You well, said after a week off. <laughs> yeah. We haven't been together no, we didn't in a have week. week off. <laughs> it's been we a week, week since we were all together. It's not been a week off. A week off is meaning that we missed a week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we you guys went together. Yeah. Okay. It's been a week since. I, miss yeah. Yeah. I, I got how... very confused. I was like, like, oh. I was like did something? Did have I just that, missed? At this point, it's, it's been I'm a like, week. I lost some time ways. somewhere. <laughs> To, to Literally, be fair, you said that, and it was just like dial-up tone <laughs> going across. Like, ah, uh. get get back to me when we get back again, and I've gone through the St. Patrick's Day season because I know in the next ten days I will live a month. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, but no, no, okay. Let me let me. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Rob, aka Lantern Noir, and not having seen you for seven days, we're back with episode 16 of The Convergence, a point which I didn't think we were actually going to make. I thought the campaign would go 10 to 15 episodes. So apparently we're all having fun and we're going to keep going, which is kind of cool. We should go around the table and introduce ourselves, who we're playing, and I do not have an interesting icebreaker tonight. So uh, I barely have encounters planned. So I, we're just going to go around the table. Um, oh, wait, no, that's it. There's our icebreaker. If your character was thrown into DMing, what encounter would they plan? <laughs> I broke Molly. I absolutely broke Molly. So we're going to make Pond go first. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm That Other Pond. You can find me streaming over on Twitch at That Other Pond. I play Aveline, the human fighter, and she is just having a great time being with all her titles. Um, if she was DMing and what encounter would she throw, she does not even know. She would make it up in the moment, in the middle of the game. She would just be like, open the book. All right, here's whatever this is right here. I can't be bothered to do all the math or anything like that. She doesn't take care of hit points. She just says it's dead when it's dead, when she decides it is. All that. She's totally on the fly. That'll work. All right, we're going to go. We're gonna go the we're gonna go mathematically clockwise and go over to Molly. Okay, so I'm barely Molly or Bear or Molly, um, and I play Samantha Metal and uh, JB the Steel Defender, and Sam is a gnome artificer who finally can pack a punch for the first time in this campaign, um, which is exciting. And also, okay. Sam, as we all know, Sam's just a little bit chaotic. So I think if she was DMing, if she was DMing, it would be a PvP battle royale one shot. I've always thought that those are so cool and fun, but I think that that's definitely what she would do. That works. We hop on down to NLK. Hello, my name is Nightlight Knight or NLK. You can find me here on Twitch. Uh, and tonight I'm going to be playing the half orc Katie Catazar, the Forge cleric. Um, all I can say for Katie's DMing is that she would go back to what she's comfortable with. So sandworms on uh, in the middle of a desert, sandworms. Similar to Aveline, she wouldn't know what their HP points would be. They would just be dead when they were dead. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of sandworms. All right, and then last but absolutely not least, Tiff. Hi, I'm Tiffany, or TS, and I'm running Sib today. You're a uh, your friendly human ranger with Pteranodon Associate, because everybody needs one. Um, okay, she'd do a, a, a shadow run, totally. It would start to rave. 
there'd be like mechanized zombies. It would be totally cool, and it would be lit. It would be, it'd be, fan it'd be fantastic. You totally would love it. And then at some point during the game, somebody would piss her off and she'd storm out because yeah. that's what my teenagers do. <laughs> Fine, you guys run it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All the dice would go everywhere. It'd be great. Ah, <laughs> uh, teenagers. I'm Rob, a.k.a. Lantern Noir, and I'm the dungeon guide. I'm taking care of all the other parts of our game, um, whether it's NPCs, encounters, planning, paperwork, combat trackers, and then periodically kicking my surly teenager back into wherever they're supposed to be and reminding them that they really do like dance and they're not supposed to complain about all the performances over the next 10 days. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't leave that one upstairs. Tried. Okay, so... Recap. Last we saw all of you, um, you had, working backwards, you had arrived at the Arbor of Anne, which is a commune of places, on the ruins of what once was a university. Uh, there's still some what might have been academic buildings, most of which are overgrown. Uh, different things have moved into places. Uh, there are still the similar row houses. Apartment complexes are kind of not really standing much anymore. And there's definitely some university buildings that can be spotted. The downside to whatever university was here is it wasn't very concentrated. So you'll have row of houses that are overgrown and then university building. And then an apartment. And then what may have once been layers of car park. Anywho, prior to this, you had come through, you had nearly been caught up in a con convergence event on the back end of having put down a evil, a war forge god cleric and its avatar. You ended up there because you had set out from a dilapidated mall on the instructions of a hyper, hyper energized and somewhat condescending gnome who thinks he can solve the world's problem with all these convergences. And all he needed you to do was bring him a quantum tunneler. The reason you ended up talking to him is you had come into possession of a shard that looked like it contained convergence energy. And you weren't really sure what to do with it, so you thought you'd go figure out where you might take it. Nearly got killed by a bunch of gnolls and thought, okay, let's go find out who's really behind all of this. And that takes us back to where the game started. Did I miss anything huge? Cool. I do want to say I appreciate all of the work you did this week on Discord to give me an idea of what you wanted to do tonight. Because that was that was really awesome and gave me lots of good things to work with. I mean, uh... That awkward silence is the way I live my life. I teach high school, and I often talk to people who don't do their homework. <laughs> do you really guys admit, remember that, that feeling of trying to do your homework while the teacher's collecting it, thinking you can get it done <laughs> while they're walking around the room? I'm having... Um... <laughs> flashbacks yeah. hopefully he'll spend a lot of time talking to pond about what happened last week at volleyball because i i need five more minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah. come on tell him about that play but i remembered today that we hadn't like talked on discord decided but i'm like oh, yeah he wanted like some time after we decided so he could plot it out so maybe today wasn't the best day to come up with stuff I'm still It'll be down fine. To, It'll to be murder. Fine. Yeah, it's great. I got, got stuff. This. I got stuff. We're it's gonna be fine. Shopping episode. It's fine. Oh exactly. God, not a shopping episode. <laughs> we. That's the only thing we said was shopping. I know. We, we need to go yet. shopping. Oh, we did. I nap. did write down shopping oh. with a line under it. Take well, the a nap and the go good shopping. news is there is an antique store nearby. Thank oh, you, Polly. Don't, don't don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, by the way, once we actually officially do start playing tonight, if you want to be part of the game, an easy way is to grab yourself a pack of stream loot cards 
and there are cards in it that let you affect the outcomes of the game itself. You can also influence the game through the Book of Fate, which is fed by your cheers. Um, and there are also a few other ways you can force rerolls. Um, but the the code that just went into the chat, I think, has two more uses in it to get some more free packs to people. So good luck on what you pull. Some of the cards are really kind of scary for the party. Hopefully you get one, because that will make my life a lot more fun. On that note, um, I think we should play some music and then start our game. So let's do that. We are warriors to the very end. We must stay strong. Together we will win. In the universe there is darkness. Darkness. Danger lurks out there. Danger. The evil tries to get us. It's everywhere. Convergence. I don't know what, what kind of animal would do like beaver. Dur during the the intro, there there was a conversation. Perhaps the thing next to the tavern is the same thing from the Burger King back in Oxford. Because yeah, a smart like tunnels tunnel. connect. Yes, a tunnel that covers a distance that took you seven or four days to walk. Hey, yeah. it could be a giant sandworm. We don't know. I. Let me look up those stats. <laughs> oh, we could ride it. Oh, Sib, <laughs> this is your job. You get to ride a giant sandworm. Yes. I'm just trying to think of how long has it been in the Burger King? Could it have come through a previous? Mm. It, could it have come through the same convergence as Katie? I you weren't like fighting it, one at the time, were you? No, no, no. Here? But it did come through the desert. How many That's hit true. points do you all have? <laughs> not enough. 1,500. Yeah, not enough. <laughs> no. One. I have one hit point. <laughs> all right. Oh. We still need a nap. <laughs> That's not a good sound. You should get that or it could be the, so If we're going with the secret tunnel, it could be the blind badger moles. I love it. Okay. I, I was just looking up really quick just for giggles. Like I did a search for worms and purple worm came up and um, yeah, the, the average damage from one of their hits is uh, 22. What level did you say you didn't want us to go past? Cause that would prevent it. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a, here's the good news though. Um, it also has a, a, a stinger. On its tail, that does on average forty-two poison damage. Well, that's great. How is that good news? That's yeah. I think I saw that episode of Critical Role, and it was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna go. We're we're not doing that one. That would be bad. Uh, this one you could I, probably I... face. I found a giant sandworm, and it says it does 3d8 plus 6 bludgeoning force just by running through you. Through you? Yeah, like if you get hit, you know, if it's underground going, and Katie, you're on top. how did top, your people survive? I... We just... They're 15th <laughs> level. <laughs> Are they and we just had level? our... We had our sand speeders, and so it was just a lot more quiet, you know? It's fine. Your people are amazing. So, okay. So here's the question. You, when we left off, you were, you were in the uh, a, a kind of a tavern inn that had kind of build, built up in a, what may at one time have been either a commune or a... Um, like a perhaps we might call it fraternity house now, but it's kind of like that. We will hydrate. Thank you for that. Uh, 
I'm doing the water for that one. Um, discussing what your plans were. You've you've been in Arbor Van for a few hours. It's it's not bu- huge. It's not bustling, but there are people that come and go. There's a, a good distance between residences, and the ruins seem, from your walk in, relatively managed. Where would you like to head? I know there was talk about exploring the catacombs under the university to try to find your way to the astronomy building, which I think was where Ted had suggested you would find the quantum tunneler. Yeah, he he put it on the map, like where where it would be at. But also, I did we rest? Is this like the next morning or is this the same day that we arrived? Right now, we're on the day you arrived. I am happy to let you rent a room and stay till the next morning, as long as you're okay with the consequences of staying in one place that long, given all the things your party's been up to. Well, I'm pretty sure we had decided at the end of last time that we were renting a room because yeah. Uh, yeah. Harrison had, had convinced uh, Aveline that she should rent him a room as well. He had. And That's we right. were talking to the one guy from the university. <laughs> Essentially, Sam's like, for now, don't want your test anymore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> there's so many hoops to jump through. All right. So much red tape. I mean, cults these days, they've gotten really demanding. Well, then I we mean, have to go back and groups. get the dinosaur or like it's gonna be just have so them hard. dissect one of us. It's How just, about we rent a room? We all go into the room and we discuss what we'll do tomorrow. Like a little pajama party. We'll get a, a charcuterie board and we'll just have a night of it. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess what time is it? Is it nighttime or is it more like Do you have something that you need to do between the hours of five and eight? No. I was just wondering if like Then it's eight o'clock. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna move at the speed of plot. <laughs> so how long you know what are we gonna do for three hours? Nothing. It's three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> um so our our options are we try to sneak in through but I do our characters know that there are underground tunnels or do we the players know that? That's something I'm not Unless oh, it's yeah. a map. I don't think our I don't okay. think our Sib characters would know. I would okay. know. Sib would okay. know and I, if you I've trust her, she'll tell you. Okay. It's a big if. <laughs> I mean if I with my life, of course. Um so our option is to sneak in through the underground sewer get the dino or schmooze for information where i replaced murder everyone that wasn't a popular one <laughs> so schmooze is now the option do it yeah, what schmoozing. um what do you guys want to do I mean, um and i will say we'll probably uh be whispering it this we're not gonna be like yelling it while we're yeah. in our room so that people can overhear us Right, right. Oh, I'm going to station JB outside of our door. To, yeah, he's a vending machine in front of the door. I think he'll be fine. I think if I ever do a rave, JB will totally come and be the bouncer. That'd be awesome. Absolutely. And I'll even hook up um, RGB lights in his showcase. Nice. It'll be great. Ah. Oh. Now I just want to do it for that. Ooh, I'll braid Aveline's hair. <gasps> yes. I'll be braiding everybody's hair. Yes. <laughs> so I'm kind of torn between sneak around and grab the dino. Right. I guess but what we if... didn't ask is how long it takes them to vivisect this thing from a convergence and do we get any information from it? Because if we did, it could be useful. But if we don't get any because we're not part of the university then it could just be a waste of our time. We're just getting them good stuff. Well, the fact that we can't even go in until we pass their stupid little test leaves me to believe that we wouldn't get any info. Yeah, that this is going to be an all give situation. And honestly, at this point, we may know more than them. Who knows? Mm -hmm. One of those we just don't know. So we do have the little armbands, right? So we can kind of go undercover for a, an, a certain amount. We can't go into the places that we're not allowed, but we'll still be able to like 
travel around kind of, I mean, as much as our group can be like, not suspicious <laughs> or Don't incognito. Be suspicious. Don't be Don't suspicious. Be suspicious. <laughs> um but yeah i mean the way that katie's leaning more towards because she doesn't want to go all the way back there she thinks that's dumb and so i mean sneaking around is kind of what we had talked about so i think i don't know that's just that's just me though if people are like nah let's see if we can actually take the test i mean we could also I don't know if we're sneaky enough, Sib. Maybe we can like find out where they keep the diplomas or whatever and just steal. <laughs> well, so my thought is we have the armband. So if we sneak in the tunnels and pop up somewhere in the school, throw the armband on, maybe we can feign that we're in the way. Hey, we're new people here. You didn't meet me. Oh, you must have been out of town. True. Although didn't the uh, I did not write down their name. Um, but didn't they said that they couldn't even like get into most of the main buildings because they hadn't taken the test yet. Right, but they couldn't oh, get into the study areas. Did did are there differing armbands, DM? Have we noticed since we've been in we were in the tavern for a little bit, have we noticed differences in the armbands? No, you have not. So they're all the same. He said thinking, and no, that doesn't make sense. Or, like, is there any yes. appearance thing? Yeah, do they wear a fun hat? Is there anything appearance-wise that would differentiate level in this cult? The, you know, the, the, the followers of the Grand Cum Laude uh, do not seem to differentiate by rank on, on outward appearance. Okay. Now, I will give you the observation that that seems to be a small enough group that they know who to defer to. Okay. Because as you were going so, up with your, when you came down for the charcuterie board, you did notice them giving deference to someone who didn't look out of place, but they all addressed him as professor. Okay. So the real, the real higher ups would be, but like if we were like new initiates, right? Maybe they wouldn't know. Like if we feigned that, Perhaps. Who knows? Um, I'm not coaching you. My job is to sit here and take notes on all the things you haven't thought of that I can screw you with. But I do think if we were to... So this is Sam to the group now. But if we were to sneak in, I do think it would probably be best to do that at night. So either super early in the morning, like go to bed now, get up at two, three in the morning, or wait until the following night. I wouldn't mind doing a little reconnaissance now because we'll blend in because there's a bunch of people. And the then only if we thing, find anything interesting, we can hide in some shadows until they go to bed. The, the only thing that I think that would potentially screw us with that is that the more we show our faces, the more that they will know we are not initiates if we do go in and if someone spots us. Cause... Russell threw away. I've got to have some other stuff that looks like this kind of stuff that people around here are wearing. I don't know. I've just got to be a couple of hoodies in my bag. <laughs> College hoodies with like the logo. <laughs> do they have a gift shop here? I... <laughs> You have not seen a gift shop yet. Every college. Every college has the little college gift shop with the sweaters. Actually, to be fair, the tavern probably would. If it's a university tavern, it would totally have a gift shop. Were there sweaters in the in the tavern? Uh, oddly enough, it's not that recovered from the beginning of the Convergence events. Okay. Worth a shot. You're right. I mean, there there definitely is like a college feel, if as much as the players would recognize it as such. But again, it's a community out kind of in the middle of nowhere-ish, several days journey from the Imperial City, at least you travel on foot, um, where people have kind of like eked out an existence. 
Okay. There's still like as you were coming up, or you might if you head back down to refresh your your, your pitcher of ale or water, you know, there's still conversation about the research being done by the graduates and a little bit of like what the the grand cum laude is currently working on and no one's really entirely sure, but they love to speculate. One person is absolutely sure that he's working on some sort of travel mechanism like the old rocket program. Okay. Which then takes us to, okay, so your plan is... I would like, once we're done chatting, I want to I wanna go wander around town a little bit. Okay. Unless you guys are really set, I'm like, we're out. I mean, I do Cause... think we all definitely need a long rest before doing this. Or at least the people who have expended spells and or health. And I back mean... in an urban environment, I could go bounce around on the top of buildings. Have you lost? You haven't lost any health or anything, have you, Sim? Nope. I have a sending so. stone that I have created. I'm going to give you one of the set. It only works once a day, but okay. at any range. So you get one emergency phone call. Wait. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> All right. Can I look at the map or are you guys all good if I take the map? I think that we had, we all had a map. Because, oh, we all have a map. All right, cool. Yeah, because we were saying if some of us lost the map, we would yeah. need multiple. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> recreated that plan. map, yeah. How did Ted already know us so well? Try not to get into trouble. I will definitely try not to. Any trouble stuff fun anyways. Anyone else want to go? Otherwise, I'll uh, I'll be back in a couple hours. One second. Let me just check something really quick. Um. Oh, that won't never. That won't mind. Yeah, I was going to bless you, but it only lasts a minute. That's not going to help. <laughs> yeah, yeah all my stuff is only for a minute, too. So good luck. You can just to uh, give her the, the um, emotional feeling of safety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just last for 24 You're hours. Going to do <laughs> but yeah, it's a one time use. So if you get in trouble, say where you are, say what's happening, and we will come and get you. I'll Maybe. try and reference the map as much as possible so you guys can find me. Perfect. Hopefully. Don't test it. Uh, and JB doesn't need to sleep. If you want to bring him, he's not the most stealthy, though. Uh, no, uh, let me, I want to go kind of play around and see if I can get above stuff and see what I can find. Got it. But if I think I'm getting in trouble, I'll let you know and he can come get me. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to go slip out. And with that, Sib sneaks out into the night. To which the dungeon master wants to know what kind of mischief is uh, Sib looking for? Well, there's got to be groups of, and I'm sorry, they weren't students and they weren't cultists. What were we calling these guys? They call themselves um, either initiates, initiates or residents. I'm going to go see if I can find some groups of initiates. I've got my armband. I want to see if I can find where they're talking. And I also want to keep an eye out and try and figure out where this building is that Ted was telling us to look at. I kind of just want to get a feel for the town and what's the... What... Okay. I want to play on the buildings. I'm like an urban ranger and I've been in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me double check that we have a little tech issue here. Let me make sure I'm not crazy. You should probably hit refresh because it does. Um, I the D, where it matters, the DM says it's thirty out of thirty six. So I need to hit refresh, or I I cool. wonder if maybe I um I I took a rest and we didn't actually take a rest. I don't think you took a rest. I think you just got clipped in the last fight slightly. Okay, which is I'll the one everyone's trying to sleep off. 
Gotcha. Um, so you are down six hit points, though. That's not too bad, though. It's sip. What's what? What could possibly go wrong that we're even gonna have to worry about hit points? Why do you say that though? Like that? <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? that rub? Depending on how long she is gone, I only need a short rest to get all my stuff back. And so, if she's gone for a while, I might be like, where are you from? <laughs> also, yeah. a thousand percent, the Batman walkie-talkie is going on full volume in the middle of all of us sleeping. <laughs> right there. We're at baby monitor stage. <laughs> yeah, you, you, oh, you also have the sickest original batman the gray and blue batman walkie talkie on your hip right now that is my sending stone love classic batman yes yes classic with the yellow logo yeah, yeah. the good stuff a little too cheesy yeah the good stuff um okay so you you head on out now you're looking for people that are initiates to kind of crash their party and pretend to be an initiate or are you looking for people that are you know, initiates that you're going to go up to and say, hi, I'm new here. How's it work? Or are you... I want to see if I can crash a party. Okay, and are you wearing your armband? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She made them. I don't want all that work to go to waste. <laughs> I mean, I'd observe them for a little bit, but yeah, that just seems... Because it kind of... I thought about just trying to overhear them, but I'm going to put the Arab man on because, you know, if I'm near the initiates, they're going to ask. Okay. Um, yeah. It, you run along a couple of roofs here and there, jump to this building, to that. Um, at one point, you even swing on a vine from a, where it's it's grown up and over on a massive oak. Uh, and it just happens to be there in a way that you can use it. Uh, we get a lot of grapevine up here, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. Not really a lot of decent grapes, but the vine is impressive. It, it, and grows crazy fast. Thank you, Ratty, for that. Let me adjust the seat. There we go. I'm terrible about that. <sighs> Anywho, um, but yeah, you can find a, a gathering. They've got a fire going that they're kind of sitting around watching the Inferno channel and, and spinning stories of uh, the kind of research they think may have happened at the university. There are theories about space travel, theories about magical ex explorations. There's an entire theory about creating a ship that can fly between realities Something that involves jamming spells in order to power it. To which someone says that that's not possible for them to research there. And it's kind of just a general, quiet, unassuming conversation. Um, kind of listen on the edge a little bit if somebody, you know. Okay. Are you dropping into like... Are you sneaking up? Are you wandering up? Are you creeping up? I'm just going to wander up. You know, like I belong there. Okay. Pretend you belong there. All right. As you come up, one of them is, is talking about um, that there's been, they've been, they've had one of the graduates approach them to start doing some work on a hybrid uh, crop. They want to try to do some more crossbreeding to get a more, uh, magically resistant corn because they're concerned about uh, magical diseases now. And a little bit of conversation about what, well, you know, you hear, well, this graduate's working on that project. This graduate is pitching this project, but the grand cum laude is not really into it. And the longer you stand there, the more you hear about different, well, research they're trying to do. Anything seem like a really bad idea because that's always what they go with <laughs> um for the most part no at this point everyone's pretty that's pretty necessary research lots of common good stuff lots of, oh yeah that would be really great if they can figure that out 
Um, Not they're talking about convergence stuff, though. None of them have really brought it up, no. I wonder if I want to hang around this one or see if I can find another group and see if they're talking about similar stuff. Go and drift off. You know, you do the do the head nod if somebody looks at you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wander around. Maybe see if I can find some other kind of want to see if anybody's talking about convergence. Okay. Because that's a big thing. Like everybody's talked about it when we got in. So True. See if I can find that groups talking about that. Okay, yeah, you can do a little more exploring and you will I mean if you go through a couple of groups and do that, you know, hey. Yeah. Um, you do find a group that is, is postulating on whether or not they're going to be able to uh, ever stop the convergences. And that there's a, you know, a couple of the graduates are working on ways to create a convergence blocker. And thus the need for, for their particular research, they really want to try to get their hands on things that either have escaped a near event or um, have recently come through an event so they can kind of compare their magical signatures. One of them's really adamant to it. It's like, we can find like a really good magical artifact that somehow is able to capture its essence during the event itself, but did not get taken down, by, that did not get overwritten by it. That would be, that would be something to, to study. Pardon me. Nope. Yes. Yes. What? Um, sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. What? What did you mean by that? Like if it if it goes through an event but isn't overwritten, like Well, I mean, I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, hey, yeah, uh Tammy, I, I just started not that long ago. I'm still pretty new. Sorry, you know how it is. Hey. You get kind of nervous and he yeah. leans over and looks at your armband. Oh. Huh. Professor Maynard. Oh, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Just, yes. uh, well, the, the, the theory goes very simply like this. If you imagine the the convergence event itself, like a, well, uh, like a hot cake being dropped onto the plate of the world. My, my belief is that if you can find something that contains magical energy that was in the shadow of the hot cake, but made it out before the hot cake made contact with the plate, you could see something that specifies the event itself and that could be reverse engineered into a magical field that would prevent the incoming hotcake or convergence event so would you have to do that right you have to put it in the right spot right before it would explode ah but if my theories are correct uh sammy we would be able to then create devices that could be placed everywhere and guarantee that convergence events don't land on those points. Well, that would be relative to how big the convergence event is. Wouldn't it? And if only one type of thing causes it to happen. Well, yes. I mean, again, we're working on a, a singular cause theory here, but that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be. It, nor is it essential to the research to establish what that causes only to be able to prevent it. For example, I don't know exactly why I'm suddenly craving a cinnamon bun. Yet I am. I know if I have one, I will not crave it. Why do I crave it? I don't know. How you am I? You find yourself craving Twinkies. I got a Twinkie. I'm going to pull out a Twinkie. <laughs> not a cinnamon bun. A what on earth is that monstrosity? Oh my gosh. It's unlike anything you've ever tried. Trust me. It looks like a turd of some form. No, 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 no. That's just bad advertising. It's, it's. And round. How does it not? Well, it's not really round. It's flat on the bottom. Because it hit the have? ground. Yeah, yeah uh, okay. That doesn't look like a turd. And I honestly did not expect to be having this conversation. <laughs> but if that's your turn, you've got something wrong because that is not a natural color. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. Oh, well, now for a human, yes. But let's be let's be honest. There is a great number of creatures that have populated this world over the last two generations. I well, fully believe true. it's entirely possible one of them does create feces of that color. 
I would stake my tenure on it. And when he says it, there's a whole bunch of people around go, ooh. That seems like a really terrible thing to stake your tenure on. Well, yes, but it's also a very big planet. Good luck proving me wrong. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. What do you, I, like, uh, what do you professor of? Other than convergence theories and uh, poop conversations. Well, Which, um, I gotta admit, is a really broad resume. That's, <laughs> that's definitely stake and claim. I generally focus on the arcane sciences. You will, of course, you know, as, as you know, that's what we do. I'll just talk a little bit more. If I'm not going to get any information, I'll talk a little more and try and... I would out. love to see some kind of check for him, A, not to see through you when he asked what he was a professor of. Yeah. Amongst other BSing you're going for. <laughs> um, do you want... You tell me what you're rolling. Or, huh? You pick. You tell me what you're trying to do. I'm trying to find anything that's not a zero or a negative one that might be useful. Then make your case when you pick it. That would, that would be a... <laughs> Animal handling. Unless, unless I can use survival? Because <laughs> he's going to kill you if he figures you out? I mean, he's right. a mammal, right? He's an animal. <laughs> Ooh. I use perception, could I? Uh, No. No, I didn't think so. All right, uh, I'm gonna I will try help. a performance. I'll buy the yeah. Performance would work. Yeah, that's a big fat six. That's a big fat six. He starts asking you questions, things about you know other professors you've had a chance to to work with, where you have been contributing to the community, what it's like to contribute there, who else you've been hanging out. Other friends you've made since you've achieved initiate status. How was that first round of exams? It was crazy. I couldn't believe what all you guys needed to know. Whatever. Oh, hey, Professor Thompson. You know, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to talk to Professor Thompson. He's right over this. And I'm going to see if I can dash away. <laughs> With a <that> distraction. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. You never know. So you're just like, peace out. They are I'm also gonna, I'm gonna get super some general, high like... intellectual types. Huh? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, yeah, that that doesn't mean they have a clue. Come on. We all went oh, yeah. to college. The professors never know what's going on. You know. I yeah. worked in I IT at a college. That is the most applicable thing ever. You know, I would love it, though, if you could roll me a real quick, just a straight D20 for your escape. Oh, yeah. As you shout, Professor Thompson, and then you take off running. I just want a number. 17. I'll take your 17. Now, if you'd roll anything under a four, I was going to have him go, Professor Thompson, that woman owes me money. And then chase after you. Excellent. But you're good to go. And you can take off. And once I'm into shadow, I'm pretty far away. I'm going to go up the back of a building or something. All right. So you just run up to the building, hold down B, it naturally climbs up it. Try not, don't think too hard, because that's how you get stuck on windows. Yeah, yeah, there was an hour of Assassin's Creed I would have liked back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, take a, I'm going to take a, like another half hour and just kind of plot around the rooftops and see if I can find this astronomy place that we think we're supposed to be looking for, and I'm going to head back. Okay. I kind of feel I might have tested my luck a little bit. So. Roll me a quick survival. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's put your map reading to the test. I got an eight. Apparently I can roll sixes or seventeens. Yeah, you are kind of like, you know. I'm a little one trick pony today, yeah. Yeah. Um I'm just gonna refresh that dice there. Yeah, you're not really <laughs> sure exactly. Like you do some meandering, you keep looking at the map and you kinda of look around and, and like three. Turn different... the map around. Yeah. A couple back. times you run across the same rooftop. And the, like the fourth time across, you're like, okay, I am now going in circles. I still don't know where this mark is supposed to be. Which is weird because this is something you're good at. Yeah. Or you're supposed to be. Am um, I in an area that's got a lot less people around it? Uh, yeah. I'll also let you re-roll it given the fact that this is something you're supposed to be somewhat proficient in. 
Oh, okay. Otherwise, I was going to call Fukan and see if maybe, like, I don't need to back me up. I'll try the survival again. Oh. Okay. Out of okay. 10. Apparently, hey, I'm tired. A 10, like, a 10 is moderate tasks. Oh, okay, cool. Reading a map is a moderate task. Yay! Um, yeah, you can eventually find your way towards uh, one of the uh, academic buildings. It's a pretty good distance uh, out from the rest. And as you can you zero in on it, um, you can see like a, a freshly made sign that's fairly weathered. It's not a sign from the pre-apocalypse, but it's probably made about 10 or 15 years ago that identifies it as the Rosencrantz Medical Study Facility. Oh, Guildenstern? <laughs> no, that was across campus. Um, the building itself is completely dark, and there's the, the closer you get as you approach the sign, which again is, is post convergence, but still fairly old. It looks weathered, and you can see where the grass has started to like claim it including a creeper vine that's like wound its way around one of the legs on the sign. So it seems like it's not being used anymore. I'm going to kind of creep up and see if I can just try and take a look in some of the windows. If it's, if it looks totally dark, just see if that could help to see if there's stuff still in it or if it looks like it's totally abandoned. Uh, perception check, please. <laughs> Okay. Ten. Oh. No, nope, oh. yeah, I rolled the right one. Yeah, you rolled the right one. You got a ten. Um, uh, Too dark. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely as you approach the building, you also notice a sign that identifies it as a uh, Nuckler Science Studies building. Nuckler Science Studies. That's what you think it says. You don't recognize the term. Maybe, uh, Professor Knuckler, maybe. Maybe that part got knocked off because there's a piece of the sign that's missing. Like yeah. spelled knuckle? Like knuckler? No, so, well, it looks like it starts with an N. It's hard to tell. <laughs> I, I love it when people have those moments of, oh, I get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head back <laughs> and, and report. As it were. Play, my me as a player's intelligence is a negative three, so <laughs> well played, Dork. Very well played. Mine's a negative one. <laughs> Fail by playing. <laughs> the sad trombone sound. Yep. Uh, which you two can be part of exclamation point loots to get a link. I added a few more coupons because they all got used up. And then you're on your own. You actually have to buy some because, you know. Um, so you report back to the group. Yeah. Do you wake everyone up or do you just crawl into your bunk and crash? I'm going to crawl under my bunk and crash. All right. Then it seems like uh, you'll be waking up around your usual just pre-dawn time. You have some information to work with. And uh, why don't we allow those that need to to refresh their drinks, top off their red solo cups, or deal with having drunk a full red solo cup, and we'll be back here in a few minutes. Having taken a, a holy order of some kind and other oaths. I'm thinking like an elven, like really... Uh, Kung Fu Elfin Monk. Kung Fu Elfin Monk. Okay. Yes, that meditates a lot. <laughs> I can, I can, I can live with that. Because elves don't have to sleep as much, so totally right. Beat you, they get to win. Okay, I can handle that. It's a, yeah. it's a forty cent bet to me. Bet five dollars. Table max. All right. Eighty cent raise. Oh, this is gonna be eighty cents. Eighty cents is for fools, young lady. <laughs> oh, All of it. Have, 480, get I, out. I can't wait to save these. He's I have out. a king. I have a king. Get out. Yes. <laughs> you were wondering if I had a king? I have a king. Out. Get out. Out. Oh, she's going to go in. She wants. She's she doesn't thinking buy about it. it. She doesn't buy it. Because she has a four. You think? 
I think she has an ace four. Yep. So here's the deal. She's in. Some would say she's in. <laughs> oh. Does she have the other king? Yes. She has the other one? Yep, but we have the ten. And we take that pot away from her. Yep. I'm heading that way. I'll tag oh, her. Oh, she already again. has the potion. She already has the potion. No, she just handed you the book. And as soon as your hands touched it, she let go and run. She's not going to take the potion? It's got bigger fish to fry, like gain her ass out of there. <laughs> you shot her. I'm trying to unshoot her <laughs> to the best of my abilities. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh no, that whole love interest thing. That's right. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I almost killed him. <laughs> I... I'm gonna go. Common, Mother Clucker, do you speak it? <laughs> <laughs> we need some information. I'm not sorry, by the way. Way. It, I, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going. Like, do we think it's gonna follow us? Yeah, can I'm we out sure it will. Run it. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we outrun it, or is it like something that's just gonna follow us no matter where we go? I don't think we can outrun it. I mean, it's not gonna come any closer for a bit. Yeah, I agree. I, I think we're gonna have to. Fight well, it. we could take shelter in the smoldering ruins. Right? I don't that, know if that's going to help. We it's don't just... know what's in the smoldering ruins. <laughs> well, it couldn't be any worse than this. We could oh, yes, across... it could! <laughs> we could come across, like, another giant creature, and then we're fighting two at the same time. And then but it start... could be, like, Godzilla versus King Kong. So if we run into something even nastier, maybe it won't want to eat us. It'll go after the other oh, thing. Man. Because they're legends and they have to fight. That's how that works. No, or they team up against us. You've had a very fortunate life, haven't you? As you seem to be doing really well with it. Ooh, that 20 is Oh my god. Nice. I shattered it. <laughs> wow. Well, you can roll your damage. I don't 25? Because <laughs> I got three sixes? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Why She's hulked I... out. <laughs> rage hard. Yeah, I think you should rage all the time. I think you I should like never rage. not, yeah. Yeah, this, never this not be raging. <laughs> well, There's where all two. our good rolls were hiding. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's why they were so bad earlier. We were saving up. But... Stop hitting my friends. <laughs> Oop, wrong They're way. damaged books with that kind <gasps> of attitude. Well played. Wow. Go ahead and roll me um, a performance check. Maybe the dice are going to favor you at the moment. Also, are can't we be an intimidation? We... I can't like intimidate the rhyme no. with my music. Okay. No. Well, can, can I thought I would try. an intimidation music. Or though. I, I can't persuade. Yeah. I can't persuade no. them to not sing with my music. Okay. What's up, uh, can Molly? We do can we do anything when we're singing, or is that like? It takes up our whole action. Oh, it it doesn't. Come on. It doesn't. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah, finally. I'm, I'm over here trying. I finally can bard. <laughs> just, just yeah. Let me bard. I never get to bard. <laughs> I'm always doing failing rolls when it comes to bard skills. The bard is being tired. Barding when it's most can I important. Uh, it's about time. MVP. Sweden is my lucky country. No All right. kidding. <laughs> yeah. Special and like not forced or anything. It's just it's brilliant. Um, I think the quote I have in particular is actually came from chat, which was uh the spell slide into DMs, which then became a spell. Um, that's just <laughs> very it's very endearing. So I love it. <laughs> I'm going to follow it up with by saying that the the reaction to receiving a message spell was an absolute just as far as role play goes. Oh jeez! Oh, it sucks. 
I've never seen this before. <laughs> Unspeakable brutality. <laughs> yeah, a little closer. That? Go to the right. Oh no, I dropped down. Oh no, I'm under us. Uh, I think they're sinking. Yeah. And on that note, they wake up the next morning. Which I will refresh their uh, hit points on the old tracker and then say, okay. It, you are in the pre-dawn hours. The sun might just be starting to poke up. Everything has long shadows. It's relatively dark still. What is your plan? Well, Katie's going to look over and see Sibs there. Sib, was everything okay last night? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, okay. So, I'm going to give all the information. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it was totally cool. They totally believed I was an issue. It was great. Um, but... I have a question. If you spew all the information from last night, they are talking about how they want to study an object that can make it through a convergence. We are here to pick up an item that supposedly can make it through a convergence. Does no, anyone else to, find this interesting? We're here to pick up the item that Ted thinks that he can use the stone to stop a convergence. So it's it's the the telescope esque thing that has he says a switch on it to turn on and off of whether you want to go through a convergence or not. Am I incorrect in thinking that? DM has no intention of correcting you. Well, I guess that's right. I mean, so, I took notes on the PowerPoint. The, the, the DM Is that did not the say that. But the DM's not correcting anybody at this point. So the I took, I, but I took, I definitely took notes on the PowerPoint. Do, yeah, you did. You did. So. Is that correct? With the there was a PowerPoint <laughs> present. There was a slide on it, right? Okay. I think that the professor's conversation of what they described sounded to Sib very similar to what had described yes so Absolutely. if they're studying that although remember ted's goal was to push a, ted wanted to take the hot cake and pick it back up and his device has a way to create a spot which does not get picked up with the hot cake so it's like cutting a hole in the hot cake right but I'm, I'm like a donut i'm getting more and more a little bit uneasy at the fact that his device is here at this college right because this is the device that you need to get through. No, he needs you to pick up the infinitely small tunnel maker. Atom collider. The multiple I, atoms. We still have to find Adam. I thought All the we atoms. were picking. I thought we were picking up the actual device. No, he like has the that. telescope device. No, that's that, his. okay. He's not I laying that we out. Were picking up the telescope. You can pry that from his cold dead hand. I didn't. Sorry, I thought we were. Picking no, up I bigger. I thought we were picking up the actual device here, and I was like, why doesn't he have this? Okay. No, he has it. it. Makes more He's sense. Shown it it's to a you. component to it. It does Got make it. a lot more sense of the whole like I want lead on the paper though. I'm starting to understand where that's coming from. I don't care. I don't want my name on any paperwork. I don't want people to find me. No, no. I think that's why he's not doing it here. Oh, well, yeah, true. Plus, adding on to what, what Sam will definitely remember from the presentation, you have to go to the event to push it back up again. Right. You can't just okay. remote. It's not like a garage. It's not like a, a remote control for an elevator. You have to be in the elevator to push the button. Okay, I'm sorry. I've been confused for like three episodes. Thanks. I was like, why are we getting his device that he said he made at another place? Did they steal? At first, I thought they stole it, but no. You know, every okay. time we talk about the device, it, the reality of it gets smaller, and I keep thinking it's this huge thing. <laughs> I'm with you. It's like a staff, right? Kind of? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just a, it's a building. We just got to pick up the whole building. It's fine. <laughs> So, so, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, over breakfast or whatever, give them a layout of what the town looks like and this building I found and this, uh, you know, Knuckles, Knuckle, uh, Knuckler Science uh, Study Building. 
which I couldn't really tell if it was deserted or not. Deserted, but I wasn't sure. Confusing. Totally forgot to look for tunnels. Dang it! But you think that the atoms are in the nuclear science? It okay. looked like the building on the map that, that uh, Ted told us about. Okay. Did he label the map? Did it actually say what it was? Or is it just like scribbles? Uh, I'm going to go with mostly scribbles. Okay. Is there a campus map? You know how most schools have like a campus map? Is there one possibly in the tavern? Not in the tavern, no. Next to the gift shop? But if you it's go... just like a standalone we find sign. The gift shop. ask yeah. if they have a tavern map? Or, or not a tavern map, but a campus a town map. map? A yeah. town map? Um, not, none of the people that work in the tavern really have one. It's not, you know, it's, well, where are you trying to find? And the more you ask for a map, the more like, yeah, but where are you trying to go? Well, that's the thing is we don't really know what's around here. So that's why we wanted to look at a map. Well, what do you need? Are you looking to work in the field? Are you looking to to apply to work in research? Are you looking for, what do you need? To, to work in the field. Oh. Some ideas. Okay. And uh, give you directions. Research in astronomy. Oh, well, that, that is be... a really fun I was kind of curious about a gift shop. A what? You know, like you guys have some nice sweaters or. Oh, sweaters. Medium. Yes, we do have. There's a, a a couple of people that work spinning wheels and gives directions there. Right. Um, there, there, there's a, a woman who does knitting across. You can buy stuff from her. And they give you directions as needed. You head out and you do within probably a hundred yards of the tavern find us this stand up that's you know covered in dirt and dust and you wipe it off and it's the remnants of a um, some kind of map of the the area marking off key buildings. I'm gonna do a quick sketch. In okay. my little Sam notebook of the map, then with some key key points to it. Most of the language, it's like you. If this was talking about where the thaumaturgy building was or the study of um, abjurations, you'd be fine. But most of this, these terms just don't resonate with you. I'm not really looking at. Um, most of the time, they have like icons with the mm -hmm. legend, right? So I'm not going to write down really many names, just legends well, I, and maybe. I can help you because I probably recognize some of them. Yeah. Yeah. So can I'll, I'll I, help Sam. Can I do an investigation check to see if I can, by looking at the map, see where maybe sewers would be? It would not be a campaign with me if I did not ask for an investigation. But investigation Rob. is an active skill of questioning people, of exploring <laughs> things, of testing things. Okay, it's not well, an what, observational which one would skill. You, which, questions assigned as if it was a person. Does that count? I. <laughs> okay, fine. Then can Katie, from where we are right now, do a perception check for tunnels for for I don't know, a grate that looks like there could be an underground system of tunnels. Yes. Can I offer the help bonus or it's, the help action? It's over there with this metal railing around it so people don't fall down it by accident. Oh, so I don't even have to do the check? No, it's right there. <laughs> the manhole? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but is that like in the middle of town? It's you know, off to the side. It's next to a, one of the... Well, it's next to the foundation of what once was a nice tall building. Katie wouldn't really know about underground tunnels like that, so I don't think she would ask any more questions about it. She would just think that's the one entrance. I know. There you go. Like, I was just like, to be true to the character, she wouldn't be like, oh, well, let's go see if we can find other <laughs> things. She would just be like, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> Well, if it's next to a wall, we could make like a little L shape with JB and open this little puppy up. You could peek in. I can see Katie going, found your sandworm entrance. Uh, the sandworms would be much bigger than that, but maybe a baby sandworm. It's very possible. 
your planet sounds terrifying. I'm, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> you're cooler than I... I mean, you're cool. It, but Thank you. Seriously, how do you survive? You, I, I, you get used to it. I've been thinking about your planet a lot, Katie. And what if we were able to craft some type of suit that could recycle your water? That would be incredibly valuable. We, we collect the condensation and the dew from the night in, our, in the sails, but to be able to recycle the water and perspiration from our bodies would be extremely helpful. Now, hear me out. I did get up and drink some of the Red Bull, but I have a few sandwiches. <laughs> well, let's, let's focus. I'm very right. interested. I'm yeah, very, I later. definitely want to see, but... Let's focus on the task at hand. But please, I would I would really like to see these. <clears throat> you... so I th go, no, ahead. go ahead. No. <laughs> so I mean, so this one thing is like in the middle, right? It's in the middle of the thing. So it's obviously not something we can sneak through. So would we travel on like continuing through or would we be like no this is our in i'm asking i'm asking everybody what was the question like would we because sib would know no no so sib would know that this is not the only sorry i'm trying really yeah. hard not to meta it like sib would know that that is not the only entrance to potentially like sewer underground so would we then keep going to try to find a more secluded one or what will we be doing? Yeah, I think let's, let's find a, see if we can find a better spot. At the very least, we want to see if, if there are other ones that no one else is using them for whatever you use secret tunnels for. So if we could scope out as many of the entrances as possible. I was also going to say, I don't know if, JB, I don't know if a vending machine can fit down a manhole. Fair How point. big is this manhole? They're usually... Well, they're whatever Tiffany says when she's on mute. Yeah, I thought I'd unmute it. Did you ever think of, of creating some kind of weird, like, tracking thing so that we can just, like, I don't know, like, ham radio? Right, where you send a note or, or Morse, where you send a sound and he could just follow you around. JB no, can follow stupid. me around? Yeah, yeah. Like if you're in a different area, JB's got to have a way to follow you. I mean, he's only been around for a week, so probably not, but that would totally rock, wouldn't it? That would be very cool. But right. the thing that allows me to do that, you currently have, and I'm going to point to the Batman. Oh, <laughs> the Batman right. walkie talkie. Yeah. But that's fine. Uh, you run off a lot. I feel like you should have that for now. Good, because I, I, I mean, I like it, JB, but... No, no, no. He's, I mean, he'll be fine. If we have to leave him, he'll be fine. <laughs> but if we can take him, I'd prefer it. I just was trying to think of some way for him to figure out where we were if he can't fit down. Yeah. But, I mean, these these people are very smart. Do you not think that maybe they would see JB as an ex? experiment or something to dissect they seem very actually what does dissect mean um to, to take yeah to take apart for research they do not really um care about it living afterwards it's not a surgery or a healing thing ah it is just for discovery purposes so i mean jb is as much as we love jb jb is not living so if they dissect, is it, would that dissection or would that just, either way, would JB in danger, you think? No, because they said that he, his entire being would have to be from this world within the last two weeks. Because I asked that last time and his being, I mean, I found this vending machine under a pile of rubble that had been here for quite some time so who knows when it came over or if it was here originally can i do a perception check and see if people are looking at jb weird like 
Um, I don't know. I won't make you, I won't make you roll for it. People are okay. not. It's a relatively progressive town. Okay. Just didn't know I, if you actually, had like I the should... mad scientist sort of like how does that work? Uh, there have been a couple of like you know long glances from a few people, but most people okay. seem kind of like oh someone made something with magic that walks. Cool. And it's okay. Tuesday. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Cool. Could we just like turn off his little glow that's going on and maybe throw some dirt on him and have him sit on top of the manhole while we're exploring and then maybe have a secret JV, it's us, then he'll unsit on it, but then no one will. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like JB will follow any, if I tell him to like power down, JB will power down. If I tell him to like protect the manhole, he will. Um... Which we can totally do, but also if we could find a way to get him with us in here, I think I would prefer it. Sib, looking at the building, were you able to see any other entrance points? Were there any other doors? Were there any back entrances? I know the answer. <laughs> I, would, I assume I would have wandered around, given it a circuit. The the DM will say yes, but the building's pretty uninhabited, and it, actually, no, it looks like really, f without having to clear a lot of rubble out of the way, you're, the only way in is through the main the main entrance. Still, the side entrances are just buried in trash, dirt, rocks. The guy who made the map for him didn't provide additional entrance points. That's okay. fine. Well, so no windows or anything? Um, they're boarded up. Okay. And I didn't I know Sib didn't look for a, a tunnel because she forgot about <laughs> she forgot about them. Yeah, and most of the higher floors the are gone. Info. You know, kind of crumbled in over time. Or been scavenged off. It's hard to say. Okay. 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 I <sighs> did look up the width of a manhole is about 48 inches and the width of a of a normal vending machine is 47 to 32. So do you think he could fit with one inch of clearance? So you, Let's drag you him do, down and he goes Yeah, like You do realize that so Katie will hold are, his arms up and Aveline will catch him at the bottom. You are literally putting a square peg in a round hole. Yeah, I mean it's us, Rob. <laughs> well, but our our question, <laughs> honestly, so the machines wa wide are wider than they are like depth Deep. wise, whereas a manhole is a circle, so it should work. Sure. Oh, well, I think part of our question is we thought these tunnels would be bigger. Mm -hmm. That and our our vans had like larger than yeah. normal tunnels. You, you can... I mean, I just looked up the general yeah, dimensions yeah. of an actual manhole on the surface, yeah, which is, can... it said 48 inches. You can you can get JB down. Yes. <clears throat> if you want to bring him with you. I actually never said anything. Y'all were the ones like, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can. I'm just kind of like, letting it go for now. But yeah, sure. You can bring JB. I want it to be realistic, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make this harder on myself than it needs to be. Like I said, square peg, round hole. That's how this party <laughs> rolls. There's. Would you two knock it off in chat? Sorry. Do I have to put you two in timeout? No, I'll be good. <sighs> no, you won't. Usually I manage to completely not be able to do anything in chat anyway, so I was, I was impressed with myself. <laughs> See that? I'll be no, good. no, I don't fight Saturdays. I just ride that particular wave. Yeah, there's there's no fighting that one. Oh my god. Okay, so down into the caverns. Yes, down into the caverns. How fun! You get into the caverns and you start to make your way through. Um, relatively large spaces, massive rusted pipes run the entire length and then branch down and off into other hallways. Um, it seems like gallons upon gallons of water has to have run through here at some time. Or steam. 
or something. And as you work your way, landworms, yeah, Um, it's all concrete. So it's like hewn stone, very smooth, but just like layers of dirt um, that have been like developed, have developed over the years from traffic and lack of maintenance. You work your way to in the general direction of the building you're hoping to find. And you do indeed come across a, um, a junction where the pipes go into the wall without a hallway for it. You go a little further down and you can see where there's been an effort in the last decade or so to create an actual um, manual hallway. Like someone has dug a tunnel in the direction you need to travel. And I will pull up the Jambor or pull up the Albear Rodeo and I'll put some tokens on it for y'all. Um, in question, we do Please. know that that is the direction that we need to go. Yep. Okay. Did Fukan come down here with you? No. Okay, good. He kind of, we haven't, I wasn't sure how he would do in town, so I actually have him kind of hanging on the outside of town. Okay, so there's the party, and then we'll put down, I, I keep meaning to make a special token for JB besides the giant gear, and then I forget to do that. So what is the marching order through this carved tunnel? Um, happy to go first. I'll go second. I'll hold up the, the rear. Yeah, you will. Um, I don't know where, wherever <laughs> I, I want to be taking notes on the map that we have of the place of where the sewer is underneath it, if that's possible. Maybe JV is just carrying you. Yeah, like he's carrying me and I'm making notes of like where we're going to see where we are to get like okay. an accurate guess of where we might pop up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, your best guess from your orient. Roll me survival. Okay. Little um, Miss Map oh, Maker. Oh, not, ter not terrible. Plus one. Plus nine, plus nine, plus nine. Ten. Ten. A mo ten is a moderately challenging task. An average person has a 50 50 chance of succeeding at it. Um. Yeah, I'm no, I, I hate to break it to you. I don't get gelatinous cubes as enemies in combat, so I almost never put them in games. I'm sorry. If you're if you're really if you're really team gelatinous cube, I sorry, I'm this is not my jam. Um or my gelatinous. You're near an old university town. Somebody that had the munchies and done that in. Oh my no god, it's a magical cube. jello shot. Yeah. No gelatinous cube is going to survive a okay, college Okay, a, a, a jello Giant? shot cube would totally be at a frat house, though. Heck yes. It would have its baseball back on, or baseball cap on backwards. You know what? It would have a keg inside. I just, yes, just about to yes. say that. Yes. <laughs> I like that we all are in exactly the same agreement. Like, what Although, about you know, now, now that you said that, I do think I have to put a jot in this cube in here somewhere just so you can watch what happens when the keg finally fully dissolves. And that cube suddenly gets all of that beer at Super once. drunk. It goes I don't want to... I don't want to eat all the fuzz of it. It but starts you're... talking about its favorite podcast. It's a, oh my god! A too much. <laughs> oh my god! This podcast is so great, you guys. Oh man! You're I was the you. one. Just really understands men, you know. Just like really can. <laughs> oh. It makes my true love. I don't know, women. man. I I wonder. I I I'm not convinced that Jalan's Cube isn't an angry drunk. Oh, can you imagine the hangover? Oh, to be fair, the podcasting is basically an angry drunk. True. Oh, yeah, because they get angry. <laughs> I was and about to say. It's so and mad. They'd be, like, they'd be like, no, it's okay, man. Not you. I love you, man. But but the podcast is awesome. But you just not giving it a fair shot. 
Like, depending on sorority or fraternity, it's like, oh, Joe Rogan, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's so right all the time. Yeah. He's so smart. Only he gets it. Nobody believes in man. Uh, yes, if they woke up with a tiger in the bathroom, they would all go, yep. Yep, that's, that tracks. That tracks. As you work your way down the tunnel, uh, you do notice that there's a series of roots have started to kind of work their way down the sides of it and um, have, have kind of like go down so that you're almost like walking into like a mini hothouse jungle. As you approach, the roots themselves almost give off a heat of their own as you make your way along. I need Sib to roll me a perception check. Oomp. Well, mm. wasn't a six. It was not a six. That's a good thing. Okay, so you work your way along, you get to there, you get to there, everybody's coming down the hallway. Da donk. You said it's getting warmer. Is it getting lighter as well? Uh, no, speaking of which, um, light sources, talk to me. Okay. All I know Great is question. Aveline can't see in the dark. <laughs> um, I have 60 feet of dark vision, but I can also create... D can Sib see in the dark or no? No, I'm human. I got... Nope. Okay, well then, Sib, I'm going to take, like... I don't know. What are you holding? Do you want something holding or do you want your person? Well, I've always got something... the little crossbow gauntlet on so you can always make the crossbow glow yeah i will make your crossbow out like glow it's a five it's only a five foot radius of bright light but that doesn't, doesn't have like a dim light beyond that though yeah so it's bright light for five feet and then it's dim light and then darkness so yeah okay so it's like a i also have a right torch. behind her okay. yeah so i can like be steering her if she starts like going towards a wall Right, oh, I, right. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I do think you want to have some additional light just on the principle of... I mean, I got a torch. Well, maybe... I, torch. I mean, I have 60 feet of dark vision. I don't yeah, know, Katie, do you have you. about the same? Yeah, I have 60 as well. Maybe we should be in front then? Um, We can. The squishy one and the healer? <laughs> Should we what could go wrong? 14 armor like class now, wrong. you guys. <laughs> but don't we want to make sure nothing comes behind us as well? Should we have, should True. we be sandwiched? Okay. Then. Oh my gosh, you're holding Sam like over your shoulder. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> it. Oh, like, piggyback okay. ride. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wait, wait, it's wait. It's like Ratatouille I... where you just pull my hair to go into Yes, <laughs> I was going to say, can I sit on your shoulder so I can use your head as a table to write this map out? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's how we're doing it. He's so not paying I attention love how to what's behind us. I love how they're looking at this cavern on the map and somehow they think it's tall enough that we can put a gnome on someone's back and she can comfortably make notes. I mean, to be fair, how how tall are you? Like three, three feet? feet? I'm like three feet max. If she's yeah, but... hunched over, she is the size of Aveline's head. Yeah, but isn't yeah. okay. Aveline like, okay. aren't you tall? I'm tall, but I'm not as tall as Katie. No, that's or true. JB. We're about the same size. We're about the same size, I think. Okay, but, fair enough, yeah, fair enough. A little bit. Okay. JB is just... It's <laughs> 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 great. <laughs> There's light just coming off of the sparks of metal yeah. against the cavern wall. Well, that's true. Doesn't he like, does he light up? Like I a mean, he oh, doesn't we just technically light produce light. like a light spell, but he ah, okay, is okay. glowing, so you can see himself and around him. Fair enough. And Fair the enough. low light, terrifying spray painted face <laughs> on. You know, we really, we really need to find her some neon paint. The we just do. drippy face oh, that's on the neon, my, like some black light. <gasps> that would be cool. 
I don't know where we would find that, but are you kidding? Why is there a giant token on the? We can totally come across something. Why did you put on the huge token? Oh my god. We were talking too much. We didn't notice that on there. Yeah, it did kind of work. That was that was beautiful. Da da da. Why did you put a giant token? Oh, it's fine. It's just shrubbery, guys. Yeah, yeah, nothing bad will happen. It's fine. That that moment when the DM quietly puts a miniature out, and everyone kind of stops and goes, "Where'd Dad come from?" Miniature, excuse me. That is a medium chur at least. (laughs) Ah, yeah, it is. Um, I'm gonna roll this. And, uh, okay. Um, as you are, um, passing by, um, a series of vines shoot down the hallway and start to wrap around Katie. Um, deflect attack? Uh, you don't need to, as she's kind of like steps okay. back away from them. Okay. But Can they I are extending well, throughout yeah. this region. Uh, I would love it if y'all roll initiative. Okay. Ah. And we'll oh, see what three? happens. Three. Uh, Three. Right. Wow, are you guys are having issues tonight. Oh, it's bad with a ten. Yeah. Hold on. Sorry, my dice aren't working. I'm not sure. Neither are ours. Do you need to refresh the page? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm I'm getting rid of the fuzzy dice. Ah, they have wronged go. me. Whoa, those are pretty. Thanks. Nice. All right, they Jane. make nice donking sounds. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sam comes in. Did you get those in the sale? Uh, I don't know if it was a sale, but I got them. I think for like, there there were they were a percentage off. So yes. And let me put J. Oh, JB and Sam are next to each other. I'll just move Sam up and put JB. Uh, Katie. So talk to us about what how Katie is responding to the fact that there the plant life around you the roots have peeled off the sides of the cavern. And are attempting to lash themselves onto the half orc. Um, well, Katie has never seen anything like that before. Um, so uh, she's going to be like, Why are the plants so excited and going to cast Sacred Flame on the ones that are coming at her? Which is a deck save of 13. Okay. Uh, oddly enough, it has dexterity. Okay. 13, you said? Yes. Roll damage. All right. Ooh. All right, so that will be five. Yep, and that's divine damage, right? Yes, it is divine damage. Okay. Radiant damage, but yeah. Radiant damage. Yep, that definitely got it. Um, it has, you see, you, you call down the sacred flame, you watch as it, that white light of the forge cackles along one of the vines and it falls off, hits the ground hard. Indeed, it is divine (laughs) damage. Totally purposeful. Totally purposeful. Um, But Jess, uh, there seems to be, like, you've taken out one. There's, like, somewhere in the ballpark of a lot more. Um... Okay, uh, I mean, I think, yeah, she'll, uh, she'll move forward and kind of get into the area, because it looks like a tight fit, so it doesn't seem like people can whoop through, so she'll, she'll kind of come to, to here and kind of be like a human shield, it's fine. Okay. That's legit. Uh, for its action, it's going to make its attack against Katie. 
it's not going to get through this turn. As her defenses hold her, you know, hold her in good stead between the shield and uh, a few good counterattacks. And they seem to be fairly stymied trying to wrap around you. What's Sib going to do? Um, I don't... Can I get around, Katie, if I want to strike one with a sword? Uh, you're going to have to step in front of securely. it. You can, you can step around her, though. Yeah, I'm going to step around you and uh, use the... I'll throw the hand axe at it. <laughs> See if I can cut it. Oh, or actually, okay. I'll just cut it with the hand axe. I won't throw it. He's getting crowded in there, but... Oh, yeah, never mind. I, I rolled a five. Yeah, that was a five. <laughs> no. Uh, but you know what? It is crowded in here. I'm going to back away. Mm, are you? Because there's a lot of vines right on top of you right now. Oh, that's true. That would be an attack of opportunity. That would be bad. No. Yep. Um, But I can use, I can try and use a sword, short sword and try and two-hand it. Second right? attack. Go for it. Yeah, let's do a second attack. See if I do any better. I, technically, I did better. Technically, but it's a 10. you did better, but that's not not no. 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 Sword and hand axe are not doing their thing. Aveline. Hello. So, given the given that I have Sam on my shoulders, and I'm going to try and just, you know, get a scooch past JB a little bit. Just I, pardon me. Oh, um, gonna slip right past you there. Yep. And uh, is there enough room for me to throw my hand axe, say, if I got, like, here and, like, around this? Yeah, around that, like. Sure. All right. Does Yo, Sam duck. technically go with since she's on the shoulders? I did not try to drop her. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> nice. All right. So that'll be 11 points of damage. That's a solid hit. Yes. Um, and that is all I will do this turn. Oh okay. Gosh. So Aveline steps around and goes, everyone, axe! And like, everyone leans either left or right as that hand axe goes flying right through the middle and you, as it spins, multiple vines drop off. Unfortunately for everyone that drops and another one whips back up and almost like, like you can see where the tip of it decides it wants something and starts to launch themselves in your direction, which the curious part about that is at all of your direction as you have completely neatly stacked up for it to do its burning hands attack. Wait, it's look at it. It's not smart. <laughs> so what's Sam doing? Um... It doesn't have it's, burning hands. It has lightning bolt. It's, you know, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I was going to say a tree with burning hands. Um, that's very, that's concerning. Um, I will, I will Mr. Say, Free, I'm going to, I'm going to gumball this bush right in the face. Um, now, are you hopping down from Aveline's back to brace yourself for this? Or are you trying nope. to do this while you're balancing on Aveline? I'm balancing on I'm holding Aveline. her legs. Yeah. No, you're throwing an ax. I'm holding her legs. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I got a 21 to hit. Ground. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Polymorph has your back. I was going to say you're shooting at disadvantage, but Polymorph just dropped the high ground card. Which, oh, I didn't see it. it. Which literally, the card says, I have the high ground. It gives you advantage on an attack. I mean, I do have the high ground. So roll it with, attack, with advantage. Okay. Oh, I see you've I, already rolled it. I roll, I mean, I rolled once and it was a 21 to hit. Well, roll it again because you have the advantage. Okay. Do I crit? Do you no, crit? I you don't. Do not crit. All right, give me damage. Okay. I was leaning towards making you a roll with disadvantage given the circumstances. But Ten points of damage. Now is that? That's force damage. Gumball damage, Gumball which is damage. just um. Blunt damage. Piercing. Piercing damage. Okay. Piercing's good. You, piercing works. Um, and I will tell JB to, um, can he move within five feet of Sib and or Katie? Not without occupying their squares. 
Okay, well then he will... Because he can't get through that, can he? He he could go through their squares. He'd end up, you know, up over here or something. Oh, if he can do that, then yeah. And he'll attack. I didn't know if he could get down the hallway or not. Sure, he can. You can always move through your through a friendly square and he hasn't left. There's no really good, like, token for there are vines everywhere grabbing at you. Okay, well then he'll go down there and it's um a plus four to hit. So I'll roll a 20. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. It's stuck rolling. It's stuck. It's not coming through for us yet either. So we'll let the the twenty finally drop out of the dice tower. A nineteen plus four, so twenty three to hit. That'll hit. Sweet. Some damage, please. Um, you guys are making short work plus of this thing. Two. That's unfortunate. Uh. Four plus two, so six points of force damage. As as JB slams into it. All right, piercing gum ba- balls, force damage from the steel defender. And Katie gets to do something, as she's now been stacked up upon on either side. Yes. I personally so... love the "I'll protect you" that Katie pulls, and immediately <laughs> Sib goes out of my way. No, out of my way. <laughs> Um, okay. So there is not... Set that okay, so right you said that there. I could move through... Okay, so I could get... Once again, I could get in front of Sib if yeah. needed to. Grab her okay. by the collar and just kind of put her behind you. Just, okay, so for a bonus action, I'm going to cast Searing Smite onto my Warhammer. Okay. Um. So let me cast that really quick. And then I am going to, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and <laughs> come up to it and try to whack it two-handed um, with my war hammer. Okay. Nope. No. No, Miss Whiff. I don't know. Trit. I'm just going to point out, you always start your night with two, but it's early. It's only nine. There's still another mm. hour ahead of you. Nah. Nah? All right. Nah. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know what else you put in these tunnels. I don't trust it. <laughs> but that's for all in my turn. Would I would I see the tunnels with lots of evil, icky things? Oh, yes, I would. Okay. That happened. Uh, boimp. Uh... And boimp. Okay, so Katie rushes around, starts to swing her Warhammer back and forth. Um, and it it seems mostly to be coiling away from you. And you're feeling pretty good about the fight, which is why Sib's like right there cheering you on up to the moment where like she stops making noise. And you look over and she's got this vine wrapped around her neck. And it just pulls her towards itself. Foink. Okay, question. Yes. Um, so did it make a an attack? It did. On her? Okay, hold on. Hold Uh-oh. on. This is a new thing. Uh-oh. This is a new thing. Uh-oh. Um <laughs> Are you undoing my critical hit? No, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Wait, I have to find it. Hold on. Sorry, this is... It was the feet that I got, and I have to... Where do we look up feats? Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, um, you're killing me, Smalls. So I can use my reaction to make... Okay, well, I don't think that it's... So I have Sentinel as my yep. feet. Um, so with it, when a creature of five, uh, within five feet of you makes an attack on a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the attacking creature. So I don't think that that takes away. Oh, good. Well, I mean, bad, but yes, it. roll your attack. Okay. Get so your... that's just a Warhammer melee attack, correct? Yeah. Two-handed. So if you hit. <laughs> Dang it. Eleven. Uh, you hit some I mean, maybe, leaves. Maybe, maybe re-roll that. Maybe re-roll that one. There's, I think that's there's... maybe worth. We maybe think we re-roll. We think we re-roll. I think we re-roll that. Okay, one. okay, okay, okay. Please, 
please D and D Beyond gods and goddesses and deities. Womp nope. womp. <laughs> this is why I say don't use. I can't use rerolls because I just waste them. That's rough. Yep. I stand by. Never it mind. Was worth it. Sorry, I stand Sid. by. I tried. <laughs> so worth it. I agree. I okay, tried. so it didn't take any damage, but Sib did take 19. Um, and in the process, I need a um, strength check from Sib. Okay. Yeah. Here's the good news. That's you can do it thing. again. I can do a strength check again? You can do it at the end of your turn. I don't I don't get a turn, do I? <laughs> nope. Dang it. Because it, you are completely wrapped up in its um, vines. And it's actually pulling you into itself. The nice thing is, you've it's 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 been a while since you've had a chance to go south and enjoy the warmth of a you know, a uh, Southern Ohio, North a Carolina day. <laughs> right now, it's you're feeling comfy, warm. You're not really sure what's on the other side of this wall, but yeah, probably not great. Probably not great. So, um, actually, it's an athletics check to break free at this point. Oh, so do I need to roll athletics to, roll for your action to get out? As you pull at the vines that are sucking you in. 14. 14, I believe, is just enough to break out. All right. Break away and fall forward down the tunnel. For thump. Yeah, indeed. Taking tree hugging to a whole new level. Um, which then raises Find the, the one way. <laughs> Problem the other. Okay, uh, which then takes us to what Aveline's going to do in that moment. Um, so Aveline, although she does love having Sam on her shoulders, saw Sib get very hurt, so she's going to down and then hop over her. She had to. Yeah. Um, and charge forward with uh, her greatsword and try to try to squeeze, you know, part of me. There's a small room and I got a huge sword. We're making it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, and 13 points of damage. That's some good damage. Uh, and I will use uh, my superiority die to uh, do a quick toss while mm. we're right here. And uh, yeah, throw my hand axe. That's a 25 to hit. And uh, five points of damage plus my superiority die, though. So my D8. Uh, I love fighters. Oh, it's another one. That's all right. So six oh, points six. of extra damage there. Not bad. No. Not bad. You shook it up good. You shook it up good. Um, what's Sam up to? Okay, absolutely going to gumball attack again. A little warning um, call down down range. Yeah, I'm gonna scream, Evelyn Duck. <laughs> um, does a sixteen hit? A sixteen will hit. Yes. With the piercing gumballs. Um, gumball so flechettes. An eight to hit. Okay. And then, um, or an eight, eight points of damage. And then, um, I'm going to scream to JB, uh, you know, JB, get Sib free. And he's going to, uh, either punch this tree to try to save Sib or, or rip at the vines that have are around her. Oh, Sib's, um, Sib has fallen out at this point. Oh, okay. Then he's just going to punch the tree in a, in a branch. 
I don't know what, where you punch a tree. Um, okay. In the trunk. <laughs> In the trunk. The uh, seven yeah, plus. Yeah, even with his plus four, I don't. Ten doesn't hit, no, does it? That's or it's, eleven. It's not going to be effective. You're hitting. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to miss a pile of vines. It's right. hard to feel effective against it. He's just like ripping leaves into the yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. But Katie's still there with the searing flames on the her hammer, looking to make contact with something. Yes. Yeah, so she's definitely going to try to whack it again in the face, especially now that Sib is free. Where exactly is so. its face? Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere is its face. So you so whack it everywhere. Whacking it everywhere. Whacking it everywhere. Except nowhere, because she can't hit broadside of a freaking <laughs> barn. That's really rough. You're not alone. That's that's gonna be the end of her turn there. If it makes you feel any better, Sam had this happen to her back with the Null fight. I think it just rotates. This has been tables. like this has been like three fights in a row though that I can't hit anything that is an attack roll. Yeah, they don't figure that into the CR of creatures. It'd be cool if they did though. But that's a lot of math. Ugh. You know, I need to stop doing this one awesome monster fight because my turn's over. It didn't do anything interesting. How's Sib doing? Uh, kind of. I I would like to kind of kind of decide if it makes sense to hit it or if it makes sense to back up and be a help action for Eveline. So I'm going to do that. I'm doing nothing to this thing. Well, I kind of want to try to hit it. I'm going to try and hit it and then try and move away. I was going to say, if you move away, JB can offer deflect attack, which will grant it disadvantage. Hmm. All right. So if I move away and do the help action for Aveline. But if you're trying to help her attack, you need to be close enough to help with the attack. Well, but I can move. Oh, hmm. How close do I, if I were behind Aveline, would that help? Not really. She's a melee combat. It. Well, you're gonna, if you're going to help, right? you got to stay right where you is. All right. Uh, but you are welcome to take okay. the help action. No, I think. I'm trying to think if JB offers more help. I, I'm going to hit it because I'm right here. I mean, no matter what, you're the only person within five feet of JB, so deflect attack automatically goes to you, Sib. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, I wish, which is good. So, I'm going to hit it with the hand axe and the short sword. All right. And maybe I'll hit it with one. Stranger. 13. A 13 uh, does do damage. Yay. All right. So that's a two points of damage because I just realized I didn't do the. Uh, maybe, oh well. All right, short sword. <laughs> Probably dropped it on my toe. I rolled a one. You did. I got a six, but I rolled a one. A one. That was that was not good. No. <laughs> I'm recovering. <laughs> well, you did just almost get sucked into it. You're allowed to turn to get your, your game on. Speaking of game on, how's Aveline doing? Aveline's great. She just, she hates vegetables, so she's going to chop this thing up. <laughs> uh, Aveline's rolling better than, I'm sorry. If I'm <laughs> taking all the good rolls, so I'm just going to roll my damage quietly. <laughs> damage never mind five points of damage that was minimal yeah it was as low as it could get wow you guys are gonna die to a plant well if you don't start rolling better never <laughs> okay well tell us about how sam's holding up Okay, I'm totally gumballing this 
this is a minty gumball. This should hurt double because it is also made from plant. You dumb plant. 19 plus 5, 24 to hit. All right. Pretty sure that hits. Four damage because I rolled a one on damage. I'm going to make a TikTok tomorrow night, and it's going to be, why are your combat so long? And it's just going to be a compilation of all of your damage rolls. Is he still up? You're, well, you're tickling it to death. Okay, well then, JB, I would like you to up... I'm going to yell to JB, uproot this dang plant now. And JB is going to attempt to uproot it. Yeah. Um... Please, uh, JB, and, and don't. Wolf, for what it's worth, I'm sorry, man. Any Please, damage. JB, don't do me wrong. I can't even see what that is. Uh, That's a hit. Plus four sixteen. Yep. Okay. Um. And then it's a D eight. Why do I always forget that? Hmm. Uh. Plus, I can't. I can't with this. Plus two, so it's five damage as he just yanks the roots up on this thing. Yeah. Does, does five do anything? Is it still alive? Yeah, it's it might still get its action. Depends on what Katie does. Oops. Oh, Katie, go. Who, who might accidentally skip? There's Katie. Don't you skip me! <laughs> Sorry. Um, Lord, I... I'm gonna give it one more chance. I'm just gonna throw my freaking warhammer away and just be like, "Ah, oh, well, we're just doing spells now." I'm gonna try to hit it one more time. Okay. Warhammer, because I just I can't. <laughs> just. <laughs> Where where's the who's up? It was a, it was a it. Play. Where's because, the... because it's just so frustrating. Now, okay. here, here comes the one for damage. I know. Don't <laughs> say that. Don't say that because then I get maximum damage. Nice. And then, then? <laughs> and then with Searing Smite, get a 1d6, which is a four, so an additional four. And that was just enough. And it's on fire. So now we have plenty of light. <laughs> Thank you. This so Katie at this dumb. point is just whacking it over and over. I think JB is, is so also dumb. joining you and just punching this dead bush in the face, just like into the ground. Oh my god. I can't. What is happening tonight? We fought a bush and it almost won. <laughs> We fought a bush and a it bush. almost won. My God. All right. Um, so in the aftermath, uh, Katie is going to turn to Sib and touch her shoulder and say, I'm glad you were not eaten and cast um, cure wounds on her. You, so you get a total of four more hit points. Because I'm than, rolling like better than nothing. Dog today aside from that last one just be glad we haven't met anything much worse yet don't say that i know i did <laughs> that i started and then i couldn't stop and i'm like i'm so sorry um thank you guys for the support in there oh we, my we got, goodness we got some salutes and a good job I'm not sure the good job was sincere or sarcastic it's kind of hard to tell both it was both uh it is now officially on twitter the quote of the night we fought a bush and it almost won i mean it did yep oh we have a group um, name now the bushwhackers the oh cinnamon ones cinnamon ones mm. or a little I cinnamon tasted rolls like cinnamon what <laughs> <laughs> So 
sorry, I don't get it. <laughs> Whew. Well, that would have been an interesting cliffhanger. The party goes off to find someone to resurrect a party member because <laughs> of a bush. That was nice job, Katie. Thanks. I don't I don't feel like you should tell me nice job. I feel like that was utter dog poop. I think it just means we've uh we've sat still too long. Obviously we uh, true. need to work out some more. Uh, oh we Katie immediately we starts doing so push ups. Immediately <laughs> starts doing push ups in the flames of <laughs> the <laughs> Does Abilene, JB Abilene see... wants to help and sit on Katie's back. <laughs> yes, Does, do it, Abilene. Does JB need to get see stronger. any nonsense in this little alcove that he's like in the precipice of? Uh, no, it's just okay. An area that's been carved out. Okay. Um. Pillar bush and not even any treasure. As Sam, then can I move? down this hallway with my dark vision and see stealthily perhaps what is up are there more bushes if there's any foliage i need to know no actually it the the cavern opens up into some kind of an underground room or like a bedroom like a bedroom or what uh like some kind of a workspace okay is it lit in here or no it is not um okay but i can see with like dark vision like right. basically like a grayscale version of the room right yes um hey guys there's like a room over here and I'm going to move into the room and investigate, like, what's in here. Okay. We're coming. Aveline's going to try and get there in the dark, probably grabbing onto Katie at some point. Can't see. Oh, this could be enough area. light from the burning bush. Right. Oh, yeah, totally. Katie is totally going to kick the bush one more time uh, before she walks away. <laughs> JB is fully going to pick up a burning branch and bring it with you guys for light. I thought about it, but then I figured it would would burn pretty quickly. So it's it might be damp, fine. you know. It's true. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a uh, it's uh, stone walls that are stacked. It's brick walls. Um, there's a counter with some various devices covered in dust and dirt that have been untouched for a pretty good stretch. A large canister set against the one wall, and you can make out the word on the side of it that says "caution flammable." I'm definitely going to convey that to everybody. No fire, please. JB. <laughs> J right. JB holding a burnt stick. <laughs> just, I'll, Katie will de like gently <laughs> take it <laughs> and just like put it out like a cigarette butt. Um, is there any, can I, can I assume this is like a boiler room or? Uh, it's a, actually it's a chemical research room by modern parlance. It is a re, is there any notes in it as a research room? Uh, not that you can find or make out if you kind of rummage around a bit. Um, anything of value seems to have been taken or lost or has faded into nothingness over the last couple decades. So it's, it's like fairly abandoned. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can I put my ear? Is that a door on the south side it of the room? It is a door on the south side of the room. Can I press my little gnomish ear against it and see if there's sound on the other side? You can, and there is not. I'm going to swing that bad boy right open. <laughs> um. Well, as she does that, um, Katie is actually going to cast um, Locate Object um, towards the the picture, like the of the pic the thing the 
Ted drew a picture of. Mm. Um, nice. So just to make sure that we're going the right way. Right, right, right. <laughs> Dun. Dun. I think that's a lead, even a thin. Oh. Oh, I hate the fine print. Well, wait, hang on. Let me think. Because of like familiar to you? No, it's the the lead. Oh, uh, okay. The lead the blocks lead. it. I'm thinking right now. Okay. I'm, I'm racking my brain. She doesn't I'm, like lead. <laughs> well, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember from back when I was taking physics at the university what they used to contain stuff. Okay. I'm trying to remember if it was lead based or if it was just we're gonna put a lot of concrete between all the stuff that can blow up in the rest of campus. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it was interesting. They actually had designed one of the buildings so that if, there, if the samples inside had had some kind of reaction, it would blow up away from the dorms. Oh shoot! I didn't even see that last paragraph down there. Most yeah. concrete is reinforced with wrought iron bars. Right. Yeah, I do. I agree, Shadow. I think that lead thing is like a is like a, a nod to the Superman weakness. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we use. I think yeah, you think you're fine. So okay. you do get a read on the tunneler. You're familiar enough that you think you can tap into it. It's mm -hmm. um, if you had to guess, it's down about 20 feet from where you are. Mm -hmm. And probably somewhere around here-ish. Okay, Katie is going to uh, is going to tell that to the party. So we must look for some stairs heading in somewhat of that direction. We, Got it. it. Seems and like I'm we need to bolt go down. into the next room. <laughs> Sam, no, <laughs> I'm already gone. I'm tiny. You can't catch these overalls. <laughs> Ah, it's gone. Runs into the hallway. Aveline's chasing after her. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm feeling feisty. This bush almost got the best of us, and I hate it. All right. So let me zap that. Zap that. Okay. So you have. Oh, escape tile. Yeah. Uh, door. Door, door, hallway, and doors. So everywhere there's an alcove, there's a door at the back of it. The stairs that you can, that uh, Sam will be able to spot once she gets to the T intersection, go down. And we need stairs going up? Down. Oh, we need stairs going down. Do we mm -hmm. think that it's down this way? We don't want to go in any other rooms, right? I mean, Aveline definitely Let's... like wants to poke into one of the rooms. I know. I'm like, I'm, I'm going straight to this door over here on the court. <laughs> yeah, maybe I, maybe I go straight south of where my icon is now and peek into that. Is that left room shut or is it open? Which one? Um, how do I ping? Can I ping in this? Uh, you should you... be able to move your token. Yep. Or if you right click, oh. you make lasers. Can I can I ping here? You see where my Yep, I can. Okay. Okay, so Okay, yeah, this is fine. So where's Aveline again? Aveline was okay, is chasing the toddler. Yeah. Katie is <laughs> doing what? Katie, you'll chase after Sam as well, but she'll probably kind of get to about right here. Yeah, okay. so that she can keep an eye on Sib and down the corridor as well, since she can see down there. All right, and JB, I guess, is going to get to right about there and then stop because everything's getting crowded. And then what's Sib doing? I wanted to kind of peek in the door there. Okay. Now, is there another door on the corridor behind me too yeah okay yeah there there is okay so oh, question before we go. how lit is this area uh do not do not be deceived by the map it is not currently lit 
Okay, because Siv had the glowing. Do I still have the glowing on from Sam? Yeah, you yep. do until I make three okay. more um, So I'm still glowing, and JB has the burning bush. No, bit, he doesn't right? anymore. We dropped that, right? Yeah. Or oh, that's right. Put I, it out. Okay. Yeah, so you have five feet of bright light, and then I think, I don't remember how it works, but maybe like another five feet of dim. Mm -hmm. It's so a you have light like, spell, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Light spells so are you and, pretty good light you sources. You and Katie can see. But I Aveline can see can't. 60 feet. Yeah, Aveline was lucky she didn't hit a wall chasing Sam. <sighs> Right. She just was like trying to like catch any glimpse of the bright To be hair. fair, if I don't give JB any directions, he will just go with me. So if you want to follow the vending machine, you can. Clunk, 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 clunk. Yeah. yeah. I want to take a look in this room. Okay, so about the same time, the two doors open. Oh. Uh, given your descriptions. So, boom, we have that room. Boom, we have that room. And I'll rehide that. Three different else. rooms. Yeah. Very 20 different. foot radius, dim light for an additional 20. Thank you, Shadow, for being on that. Thank yeah, light, light spells are pretty potent things. They're not, they're not weak. Just to say. Um, the first thing that Sib will notice as she pushes the door open is you just get assailed with the, uh, uh, the wretched smell of rotting flesh. And dried blood that sib or me that's sib okay. sam on the other hand will open the door and you and see two figures um seated on the beds at the far end of the room evelyn has her on the far end mm-hmm she has here. her hand axe out just in case have they seen me yet uh are you doing something in particular in that doorway to not be seen i mean i was just gonna peek my head before like i was just gonna be like i that's why i was on the corner was i just wanted to peek okay uh they well roll me a stealth i'll just give them a little bit of, give you a little bit of a bonus on it an eleven. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Um, as you peek in, they neither of them seems to be moving much. But what you do I... spot in the darkness is that each of them has one of their arms is all done up in mechanical clockworks, and you can see like oh. various pipes and hoses that come out of their backs and go into the arm itself and pop out again to go around their arms. Um, I need that arm. Um, but like, I do need that arm though. Um, can, I have my arm band on. I'm going to put my, I'm going to turn around to Aveline and, um, DM. Yes. And just say there's people in there. Oh, that DM. I'm going to DM, I'm going to slide to DMs, Aveline, because she's behind me and mm -hmm. say there's people in there. They've got a really cool arm. So if we do end up fighting them, please try not to damage the arm because I would <laughs> like it a lot. Is it, is is it, it like left your arm? arm? Is or it is left it... or right arm? Uh, it's uh, the one that you saw it on is looking across in front of you. So it's its left arm. Yes, my left arm is gone. I want that left arm. Wait, does it look like... Is it a gnome sized or... <laughs> she has an arm. It's fine. Don't worry. I can have a long arm. I don't care. I'll have a long arm. It's like, I'm sure it's like a watch. You know how you can take segments out of a watch? I'm sure we can do this. Shorten the band a little bit? It's yeah, like... yeah, we'll just shorten the band. We'll just shorten the band. Or I'll just have one dragging on the ground behind me, long arm. Okay. Hey, where you start to look like your pets, your arms are going to start to look like JVs. 
Um, I get the- I- I haven't said this out loud, though, obviously. Can I- Do they have armbands on? No, they don't. Can I- Knock on the- Hi! And just kind of maybe step in? Absolutely, you can totally step into the room. There's no light in this room either. Nope. Oh, Avlid's still following. Following. She's acting as if she can see, but she's probably looking in the wrong direction, but still has yes, a hand axe. It up. is pitch black. Okay. And then, as as you knock in the door, the one that with the arm, you watch as suddenly this burst of light goes out one of the goes along one of the tubes and down into the arm itself. I'm and gonna... You can see the, the tubing starting to glow. Like it's like powering something up? Yeah. And it turns its head towards you. The skin is tight against the skull. And where one eye should be is a massive series of lenses that twist and light up a sick green opens its mouth and you can see all of its teeth show that it has been consuming something not of this world as it rises and starts to lurch in your direction. Okay, I'm going to ch immediately <laughs> chuck a little I'm going to kick I'm going to kick a pebble near me with my magical tinkering with a 5 foot radius of light just so that there's no disadvantage for Aveline attacking something i'm Thank gonna you. just light up a piece of something and boot okay. it at him oh like right there in the middle of that spot in the room i'm sorry i was muted absolutely in the middle perfect like right Boom. where that light source would be on the map absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah thank yeah, you for yeah, that yeah. i appreciate that all right it was so pre-planned i'll put the the zombie abomination on the board Remember, Aveline, try not to hurt its arm. I really want it. The I'll, left I'll, one. I'll zoom remember. in on the, the artwork briefly. Yes. I'm a good shot, I promise. The kinds of things you work on when your students are quietly doing their online course. If I can upgrade my left arm. At this moment, Seb, whoop, is over there with her light source. As you start to look around the room, you, sh you shine the light from the back of your hand. You notice that in all four corners are just piles of limbs. Legs, thighs, hands, full arms. And that would be that smell. Um, yeah. You take a few moments to consider your life decisions that landed you in this moment. Because you're pretty sure the mound over there just moved. I'm gonna back up and close the door. As you as you start to to take a step back, you look, and the various hands and legs and arms all begin to surge in your general direction in two coherent masses. Boink. And boink. So. I, I don't know. If I get an action because I can't move back, I would like to take my torch out of my back. Well, you got the door back. shut. Oh, I did get yeah, the door shut. All right, you cool. hear them like slamming against it, which Katie will also hear. I need a 10 yep. second. Hey, good night. Do I get a hug? I love you. I'm going to kill my players tonight. What? Say good night, everybody. Night. Say goodbye. Bye. Wish them well on their Please new characters. Please tell him he's not allowed to what? kill us. <laughs> Don't tell us. Don't let him kill us. We'll give her nightmares. Uh, well, she, I don't. Did you hear me describe the combat scene? What did Katie say? Don't let, don't let him kill us. Okay. She didn't hear me describe the scene. She'll be fine tonight. <laughs>
I hope. If not, her mother can deal with it. <sighs> okay, so shall we put some dice on the table, everyone? Sure. Let's do it. Initiative? Let's do it. Yeah. Please be better. Why am I rolling? 11 is better than 3? I'll freaking take it. I remember okay. once in a while, it's... worse. It's just fun to have a little dungeon crawl, isn't it? Right. And... Boom. Boom. If you don't think I'm going to take them arms, Rob, you have another thing coming. We'll, we'll have you roll those wisdom checks when the time comes. That, that's all I know. Okay, Katie comes in at a 14. Sib at a 6. Aveline, who can now see. Sam, 11. And Outer door points out that has the high ground. Oh, dear. And, okay, so um, that is officially, hang on, let me double check the, the plain text of the card, advantage on their next attack. All right, fair enough. Uh, we're killing the party tonight, right? Yeah, well, if you play those cards, that could happen. Uh, the swarm of zombie limbs that are currently trying to get to Sib, unfortunately can't attack yet because there's a door in the way. So it, they're going to try to bash their way through the door. And they do. The door between Sib and the zombie limbs is no more. The other set senses something in the hallway, and it's going to attempt to do the same thing. They do not bash through the door. That takes us to Aveline. Um, so now that there's light... Aveline would like to uh, put a hand on Sam to make sure that she doesn't like bounce around too much. And then with her other hand, throw her hand axe across the way. She doesn't want to get near these guys. We're hand axe in it. Um, towards the one were... with the arm, but she would not like to hit the arm. I totally thought you were going to say you were going to throw me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I thought she was going to. No, I just, you know, just like making sure. You stay put. I don't want you going near that arm until it's the thing attached to it is dead. Okay. Uh, dirty twenty. We'll hit. I guess I should number these guys. Max damage, ten points of damage. Jeez. Um, and that will be the end of my turn. Okay. That takes us to Katie. Um, okay, so Katie has really no idea what's happening. She's just heart started to hear scrabbling on the doors, like, over here. Um, so she is going to move, she can move 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and kind of, like, peek around so she can see the hands and stuff right well the good news is she'll also hear that door splinter outwards on shower sib with wood gotcha as a, a literally a wave of limbs is pouring down in front of her i mean i'm sorry i believe katie's exact reaction would be like, what the fuck <laughs> Also, since JB was with you as a bonus action, you can command him. Oh. You were around. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, my action then will be to cast um, Sacred Flame on these hands because they are ungodly and disgusted. Uh, so that's a dex of 13. Dex save of 13. Team. Doink. They do not make it. Okay. <laughs> Disgusted, right? Uh, so then that will be seven points of radiant damage. They will take that. Towards the zombie. I don't even know. The handsies. The swarm of the swarm of zombie limbs. 
Um, My favorite creature ever. <laughs> and then, so just for clarification, with JB, what are the commands that I can give him? Just anything? So you can command him to basically do um, an attack. You can command him to hold his action for something. Uh, dash, dis disengage, help, hide, search. Um, you can command him to hold his action for something you want to do or to go to do something. Basically anything you could tell a player to do, okay. he will do for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So as I'm running over, well, I guess afterwards, after a sacred flame, the hands, I'm going to look over to JB and say, go help Sam. And Okay. Chomp, 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 chomp. Uh, chomp, 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 chomp. That's reasonable. And that will end my turn. That will end your turn. Uh, zombie abomination number two gets its action. Uh, now it gets its uh, now it gets to attack at advantage. Um, because thanks to thanks to Dork wanting to see you guys go down. If he's attacking me, though, deflect attack, which does what? Disadvantage, so that means it's just a straight roll. Fair enough. I don't have a high armor class anyway. No, you don't. <laughs> um, so you're going to take six. Okay. I would um, like to use interception. Okay. So it also... <laughs> Uh, so it's 1d10 <laughs> plus 2 deducted Less damage. From that. Okay. Yeah. Roll it. Uh, 3 plus 2, so 5. So she really takes 1. Damage. She takes 1. Okay. That's not bad. That's not Protect bad. The gnome at all costs. As it slams, you know, comes in with its claws. And, um, and you can see that the teeth are no better. As its one mechanical arm rakes across your body... Um, and just picks up a little bits of your jumpsuit as it goes. Um, oh, oh, it's not done yet. It's not done. It's not done. It's not done yet. I need a con save. From me? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I have a great con. As you see, okay. all, that, all that, get that green goo is like powering the back of its hands why did i say i have great con why would i do that and then roll a two why would i do that though why would i why would i even say that to myself i have a plus four it's my best saving throw oops i didn't finish typing it that's right i forgot it's not auto complete it's all auto prompt do you want to re-roll that i don't want you to turn into a zombie <laughs> It's up to you guys. Go Go for it. It. We got 20 minutes. Go for right. it. I think right. this might be our cliffhanger. Reroll the con no, save. Okay. They have spoken. 17. Uh, okay. But whatever stuff is like surging through its arms. And thank you for that, Polymorph. They, he, they chat wants to make sure you don't go down yet tonight. So thank we're, we're getting some, some bits in the box. Um, although, again, too, we did have the give advantage to the bad guys happen tonight, too. So, eh. a lot, a lot going on um, in those moments. Uh, but, yeah, that stuff that's pumping through that arm, that stuff stings a lot. But that's okay. Go ahead, strap it to your body and see what happens. I don't like it. I'm going to flush it out and fill it with Red Bull. It's fine. I... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I already have a plan. Okay. Well, it I is... will never sleep again. It is... Oh, God. it is Sam's action. Um, This thing is like on me, right? In a combative sort of way, not in an appropriate one. Okay. I'm going to... um. <laughs> Because of my gumball expert feet, I'm going to literally put the gumball 
shooter in his mouth and shoot him because I don't take disadvantage for being within five feet. Uh, a 19 to hit. That will hit. And I'm going to shoot him for 12 points of damage into the head. You know what? 12 points of damage in one shot, that head is shattered. Yes! There Gumball no just head. shot out the back. Yeah, I mean, the, the lens, is like, you watch, it's like, it starts with the lens cracks as the first gumball hits it, and then you just watch as bits of zombie flesh go flying off until the skull explodes. I feel so beefy. Yeah. The body hasn't gone down. The body's still up? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate that. Oh, you um, see a little bit of that bright green stuff that's pumping through the tubes kind of ooze out over its chest. Okay, then can um, JB finish him? And um, <laughs> can I have JB sp- punch this body? Sure. Okay. Um, whatever that is, plus four. It's uh, not rolling for me. Twelve will be enough to hit. Oh, okay. He's a D8, plus two, uh, nine. Not bad. JB finished him off. Yeah. Go, all, JB! All that work on that mini, and now it's off the table. <laughs> this is, Folks, this is why Dungeon Masters don't show up with painted minis. <laughs> okay, real talk. You still have one more! You still have one more! He hasn't been in action yet! No! That was the ones you put all the work into that are gone like that. Yeah, no kidding. Can I move, like, onto the bed to give Aveline the ability to walk into the room, though? Is that possible? Yeah. Outer oh. Dork wants a minion to bow out of this fight. Oh, he giveth and he taketh away. Just like that. Um, We're going to take this one off the field. There you go. Bink. That's fair. Um, JB will also stick <laughs> to Aveline's side if she moves forward. Okay. That's fair. I think he can handle that command. As cool as it is that I don't want to completely clear this room just yet, Dork, but we will take the other set of the, the hands that are stuck against the door. We're going to pretend they've, they've given up the chase. Which was well played, by the way. He's getting all the mileage out of those cards tonight. <laughs> um, so that takes us now to... Oh, number one gets an action, finally. All he's done is get hit with an axe. Uh, he is going to rush into that spot. No, he's not. He's going to rush into that spot. Because you just blew the head off his buddy. And he is going to eat your flesh. Deflect? Attack? Disadvantage for you, sir? Hasn't JB... Oh, no, because you've had your turn. Mm Mm-hmm. Gosh darn it. (laughs) Yep, and that did it. Your your steel defender successfully um, defended you. Not today, Mr. Zombie. (laughs) That's fair. That's fair. How's uh, Sib doing? Ew, 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 ew. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, that kind of covers it. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm going to pull out a torch from my bag and light it. <laughs> and try and hit these things with You're fire. You're emanating um, light. You still have it on your crossbow. It doesn't burn I... them, does it? Oh, no. Or I could just hit him with an axe. (laughs) Well, are they on fire from... No, they're they're not, like, burning. They've been hit with divine energy. Oh, okay. I'll just hit him then. So... (laughs) This might be a dumb question, but... You can't really do Hunter's Mark on a group of limbs, can you? Yes, you can. Excellent. 
You like to cast Hunter's Mark first. Totally can. No. Hit it with a short sword and a hand axe, I guess. Do the short sword first. I hope that it hits. Seriously? As you wade and... into the sea of them, that's enough roll damage. Oh, goodness. Six, nine, and... Oh. Fifteen. Wow. Okay. And thank you for that. Um, I think there's a thing that comes through that chat. Yeah. Dork, thank you for sharing those with everybody. If you see the link, you can click it and you can grab some D&D cards. And players, awesome. I would snag them for yourself if you're watching the chat in case you come by my other games because they're good for all the games. You can come by and you can like really annoy the Australian and make her drop the F-bomb even more like punctuation. And that's how I describe it. That's awesome. People from California allegedly use like the word like as a conjunction. Like, you know how if they can't, like, think of what to say, like, next, they just keep saying, like, all the time? Australians do that with the F-bomb. So do the Irish. Yeah. <laughs> all right. so. so the other one, I got a 15 to hit with Andex. Uh That will do damage. Roll it. Only seven damage. Okay. The bad news is the swarm has survived to swarm. Yeah, not in the midst. Yep. And it's going to swarm right into you. Um, I'm trying to remember if Hunter's Mark actually helps me. Well, you did extra damage with it. I did, yep. Um, I do know that you do have backup. I'm assuming it's going to do something. Or she's going to do something as the swarm lurches out towards Sib. It makes an attack against her? Right. I okay. will use Sentinel. Roll it. Um, so no, it has to be a melee attack, doesn't it? So I can't use like my channel divinity. That's an action. That's not right. a reaction. It'd be a, just a okay. basic melee attack. Okay. Um, so yeah, so with that, they would still um hit him, but Right. Yeah. But you might do some damage as they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll take that. Ooh. Ooh, it needs put some damage down. All right. Uh I'm guessing we'd say double handed because I, I did a spell the last time, so right. Oh, that's all right. Jeez. Ten. All Ten right. damage. Um yeah, they actually start to swarm up over on top of Sib. And as they do, you just step in and Kay just starts swatting them off left and right. Like almost scooping them up and slamming them into the concrete walls, and uh, with that kind of ruthless efficiency, he's gone. The sentinel attack finished it, which is pretty cool. We can bring it on. Thank you. Lie. Not gonna lie, that was welcome. much less awesome. I mean, you were awesome. That was not awesome. What was not that? Like that. Why were there hands and limbs everywhere? I don't know, but whatever it is, is not okay. No. Every corner had some limbs. It was really, really rotting smell. I don't think we want to go in there again. I, I say nope to that. There are some Stygian things happening here. Think the others are okay? I'm not sure. We should go check. Meanwhile, Aveline There's... is fighting a zombie. Yes. So Aveline is going to uh, stand essentially behind um, or get as close to the zombie as can and like kind of lean between Sam and JB and just like drive her sword down through the zombie's head. So that would be really impressive. Yeah. You know, if it works. No, no, no. No. No, no. Polymorph uh, did throw you guys some rerolls. You want to burn one? Reroll it. Do it. Cool. Thanks, friends. Uh, ten. <laughs> Shadow seventy seven declares the I'm next BC attack either. will be a mighty blow. Ooh. Well, that's that's nice now. Unfortunately, that's not it. Um. Well. 
I also wanted to use my action surge. So go for it. Let's try this again. Ah, uh, nope. Want to reroll it? No, that's two in one turn. No, no, no. Katie's Are up next. Sure She'll save We're it? eight minutes out. Yeah, come on. Just do it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Plus 11. <laughs> this is where all my good rolls earlier just are like... It's said a mighty <sighs> blow. Well, no, that just means the next hit will do max damage. So someone just has to hit something. Wait, wait. We have a we have a we have a, a bonus from Shadow. You guys, really trying to carry me through this hit? That will carry you through. What's we max? believe in you. Plus five, Oof. indeed. I have to fix that. Plus five is game breaking. Where where I have to remember to tone that down. I um, love it. But I'm not going to do it now. Your points are spent. Uh, what's max damage for your great sword? Uh, it'd be fifteen. Perhaps forget about fixing that. I yeah. Let us have you know, just, just don't worry about it. It's fine. At max damage at 15, that is the end of that zombie. And that's that. So, um, as they, they hit the ground, the arms sort of like fall apart. And you can see collections of, of magic and the tubing and that sick necrotic. Eric Chansky shouts, uh, there's another one. Eric, I love you, man. No, there's not. Because <laughs> there's, there's like six minutes. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if it were 930, yes, I would absolutely throw something else at him. But um, it is we're coming up on the end of our of our, of our night anyways. Um, so don't worry, you'll still have that card for next time. Because unless I'm mistaken, played cards, just go back in your deck. And you can play them again later. I think. I hope. Maybe. <laughs> I'll look into it. Um. So, but yes, we'll get you hooked up with that if that's the case. So, you've had a chance to breathe. You found out what was going on in the medical research building. Not good. Very not good. Never want to go into the hospital or medical buildings. It's always the worst. I'm not going to lie. I am going to pick up some of these parts of these oh, yeah. arms. Are there like any jewelry or anything on the hands? Uh, yes. Um, they look like that at some point they were strapped down to tables. Uh, in this, in this, that's not jewelry. <laughs> well, they've or got, in they the, still, they still some the, pretty things. What is a restraint? I mean, but like a fancy Chinese. bracelet. <laughs> well, it's got to have a nice ring. It's oh, a like the limbs? Are they they know no, they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the surge of limbs? No, they have nothing on them. Lame. Can I? Can I just go back and just sort of just torch that stuff in there? You're going back <laughs> in the room where the limbs no. were moving. No, I just don't want them to like come out and follow us later. I'll DM both Sib and Katie and let them know we fought. There were zombies in here, but now I'm ripping their arms off. It's fine. If you would like to join us. There were arms in what? here as well, but normal arms. Oh, no, I'm talking about my kind of arm. Uh, you're not you're not normal arm. Because you have one normal arm and one not not as normal arm. Right. Which yeah. Do you want me to bring you a normal arm? No, 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 no. I'm oh, looking for okay. mechanical parts. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I thought. I was just, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's fine. Okay. We fought lots of body parts. Yeah. There were some floppy bits in there. I was, it was very awkward. Um. Stuck. <laughs> do, I need, do I need to get the HR department involved? <laughs> 
but everything is fine. You are safe. Right. Yes, we're fine. We, I mean, me and Aveline, we got this. Of course. Aveline is pulling the sword out of the the zombie thing and looking at the shatter. I'm just like, I, uh, I, I, it wasn't me. I didn't break it. I, no, no, it's fine. I'm gonna hold up like a piece. It's too big. It's way too big. But I'm holding. Does this look good? Does this look? Yeah, yeah. It totally like you know we might have to we you might have to make some adjustments but yeah i think it would be fashionable yeah okay i'm gonna take a few if i can if i don't know if that's a roll or not but can i scavenge a few parts from these arms uh sure if anything i would just like to try to find a way to reinforce my arm if possible uh sure we can put some extra layers on it and bolt it down or magic it into place sure. um the tubes have to be connected to something as you pull them out you can see there there's the anatomy doesn't look right like there's like organs that shouldn't be inside people can i I have great medicine. Can I do some type of medicine check or investigate or arcana, whichever you prefer? That would be a um, great place for us to find out what's going on when we pick up again. Because it'll give me two weeks to figure out what you find. <sighs> Abandoned medical buildings are great places to explore. So much fun. Especially when they used to be nuclear research facilities. You mean Knuckler. Knuckler research facilities. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. I feel like I feel like we're on a nice high. Let's stay there. You didn't think I was gonna rip these arms off, Rob, but you are sorely mistaken. I, I'm trying to I, I I'm not gonna lie. There's we've got a couple of weeks to talk about exactly what you hope to accomplish by trying to repurpose necrotically powered magical arms oh i mean katie i feel like could purify that or something so my my thought is my arm works as a shield so is it possible for me to upgrade my shield in a way i'll think on it but probably not okay that's kind of where i'm at with it but we'll, we'll think of something we got some time to talk um with the unfortunate fact that we have time to talk because we're going to be off for another we're off for two full weeks after this um i definitely need next week um for uh saint patrick's day stuff because both my kids do irish step dance and i do irish pub music and we are booked solid saturday to sunday as in wrap around um and this is the first year they were saying with the company that they haven't had to call to say would you like us to come They've been getting calls. Please come uh, perform for us. So it's going to be a really exciting couple of days. I'm going to try to sneak a pub night somewhere in there where I was, you know, strap up. No! no! Hey. No. Really? Who played that? All right, that's legit. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Also fair for the two weeks off. Yeah. It also goes time to figure out how these loot cards work better. Um, so going around the table, um, we will start where we stopped with Tiffany going first as to who they are, who they were tonight, and uh, what their star moment of the night was. Hi, I'm TS, and I was Sib tonight, your uh, ranger. Goofy ranger. It was hard to pick a star. So hard. I... <laughs> I kind of think when I got attacked by the vine, because it's just so it's like, yep, Katie is trying to defend us all, and I went in and then got attacked by a vine and almost died. And that, for some reason, that struck me as a lot of fun and really stupid way to go. <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> that's very simple. <laughs> that works. Let me slide over to uh, Nightlight Night. Hello, I am Nightlight Night or NLK. Um, and tonight I was playing Katie or the half orc forge cleric. Um, 
Oh, the star, the star of tonight has to be literally getting JB down the freaking manhole. <laughs> And like being like, what is the circumference of a manhole? And can and I could just imagine that in actual like life, we are like Aveline is jumping on JB and he has his arms up and he's going eh, 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 like down the manhole. <laughs> that's just that's just the image I got, and I will not be told differently. Um also really quick, and I don't want to like take anybody's time away, but in case you are not aware, there is currently a um, almost 1000 game bundle available on itch.io um, that helps support Ukraine. So, and it's just going for $10. You can give more than that, um, but to help support the wonderful people in Ukraine and just with everything is going on right now, if you just go to itch.io, it is the first thing that says bundle for Ukraine on there and you get almost a thousand indie games i just wanted to plug that really really quick um because there are some amazing amazing games on there and i'm pretty sure there's some like hidden gems in there as well, well while we're talking i will point out that wander song is on here the teenager has finished it it's quirky and fun and unless i'm mistaken super hot is on here Yes, super hot is on there. Yes. There's a couple other ones that um, I've had on my like Steam wish list for a while. In so. most is yes, very, in most very, is the one that I've had. So I'm very excited to play that. So you can pick that up along with 992 other games. So just go check it out. Go support Ukraine in any way that you can. That's me. I'm still amazed. Just to stay on this this line, but there actually is an RPG. It's on the screen now called Thirsty Sword Lesbians. It that I thought that was like a, a joke, but no, that's a legit RPG that's published that you can play. Um, also, for real, a short hike. My heart melted. Oh, so... Please play it. It's yes. so good. Okay. It's I'm so, so excited good. to play that. It's been on my list. It's so good. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of good games in this mix. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't yet, here's your chance. So, and yes, the TTRPGs and all the other good stuff. Okay, coming back around, Molly. Um, I'm Barely Molly. I played Samantha Metal and JB, um, the Gnome Artificer, and the Vending Machine Stone Defender or Steel Defender. Um, my start of the night was definitely being uh, Ratatouille with Aveline, for sure, was super fun. Um, I absolutely loved that. Um, and also, for sure, check out, because these the games that they linked, incredible. Absolutely so good. There are so many that are just worth it. So freaking worth it. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. And last but absolutely not least, Pond. Hi everyone, I'm That Other Pond. You can find me streaming over at That Other Pond, where I will be also playing through not all of these games, but some of, some of them, because um, I picked up that bundle as well. Uh, and I play Aveline, the human fighter, and uh, probably my star of the night, what everyone said was like top-notch stuff, um, but also the gelatinous cube and then it being like a bro as soon as the keg exploded and talking about podcasts. <laughs> I just I had too much fun with it. It was it probably went a little too far, but I was there for it. I was like, yes, I love this content. <laughs> and that's what we do. We have fun. We always have fun here. And that is absolutely the goal. Um, let's see. Well, my name is Rob, a.k.a. Lantern Noir. Um, I got to run this. Um, and uh, I'm not, I had too much fun tonight to pick one moment, except I think perhaps um, I put a lot of work into putting all those cards together and seeing them come into play. I've been very nervous that they would break the game. And I feel like maybe we have a sweet spot where they're, they, they can, but y'all seem to be pretty cool about them. And it's kind of fun. Um, so yeah, there he is, the mooter. Um, but I, on top of that, I think, I think Nightlight's, uh, reaction to the zombie limbs like that that wonderful look of horror and disgust and oh my god and you actually haven't seen what they can do yet you've managed to kill one swarm before it did a lot 
and there's a lot of dungeon crawl ahead of you. So, which was always one thing I, that's the one thing I like to, for good or bad, we have had very little of, is just classic crawling through the dungeon. And I think this group needs a little bit of that humility. I mean, dungeon crawling. So on that note, um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see where we can go and what we can do and who we can hang with. Let me check to see who I know that's on. Now is a good time if you want to use your channel points to redeem uh, Guide the Raid. This is a great time to do uh, that. Guide the Raid. This I'll turn off that echo. Uh, let's see here. Um, so based on who I see doing things... Uh, yeah. Um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the ads to end so I can verify them. I see what I think I'm looking at. But um, yeah, we will be back here in. We have two weeks off, and then we're coming back. Um, okay, we'll do that then. Uh, so we should be pretty good to go. We are going to send you guys off to hang out with a friend of mine uh, for the biscuit. He is playing Sea of Thieves tonight. He is a lot of fun. And he's always good to hang out with. So seeing him playing Sea of Thieves, I'm like, this should be fun. Because he's probably going to go overboard a lot. And you'll have a great time over there. So thank you everyone for coming out tonight and being part of this. I want to also again... Uh, thank everyone who uh, was part of making this stream happen. So if your name is on that list, a massive thank you for those contributions to make the game as exciting and fun as it is and all the amazing artwork we have. We owe it to all of you for doing that. Um, and thank you for being part of this. We're going to run the closing titles. We'll see you all back in these seats on a Wednesday night in three weeks. I can't wait. Until then, though big responsibility. You gotta stay safe for all three of them.